Hey, what's up, people? What is up? Let me put on some music. Uh, yeah, we can start with this first one. Let me do this. Uh, let me update, let me update the character, I guess. <laughs> I gotta pat myself on the back for that one. All right. Okay, 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 okay. So... I played around a little bit with sigils. Um, so currently our party looks like this. Um, honestly, I'm pretty, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Um, everyone is looking pretty, pretty good. Right now, the only thing I want to do is to um, just continue grinding out the characters, basically. That's that's literally all there is to it. I also kind of want to play with some of the characters. So I'll be probably doing that. Um, but right now... Let us start because I I haven't do the, do it yet. I think I, I've done it maybe once. Uh, let's get a save going. And let us do like one reroll. It should just go up and up so. I know, man. I don't know when it stops. Like, eventually I'll just have a thousand and just doing thousand reroll. Fucking crazy. Could actually maybe save that uh, damage cap with quick cast. Quick cooldown. Getting any quick cooldown? I don't know about that one. Yeah, 
Yeah, I probably can save that. The damage cap with quick CD. I guess I'll just save. Or after I'm done with this, I'll just reload it. Get those few poles in and then save after getting it. Better to have more of them. Man, I'm actually surprised that it fucking it just keeps going still. Kind of unreal if you think about it. Man, sometimes I wonder, will I ever see it? <laughs> like... Ever? At all? Also, I have a feeling when it will show up once... After that, it will be showing up like every now and then. Got so many HP staminas. I don't think we've seen even a unique sigil for Narmaya. I don't like this reroll. It's fucking cursed. I'm definitely not saving that one.
Where is it? Yeah, it's super early on. No, not this, not this one. This one. さんで体験してほ。悪くないでしょう。またのお年を。I'll be right back. Need to grab food and stuff.
I'm back. With some food. Right, okay, I geared out those other fuckers and uh, um I guess Yeah I can put in the slime peed for the time being then while I eat. That should be fine. Let me set it up though. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Actually, wait. There's something been bothering me with this shit. It like almost feels like it never saves my settings for anything. Where is it? Run as administrator. I don't know, maybe now it will save my choice, although I doubt it. It doesn't save my fucking buttons like at all. Doesn't show me recent files either. I wonder what the hell is the problem with this program. Okay. Yeah, of course it doesn't play. I... I don't know what happened since yesterday. It just doesn't fucking work. Like, at all. Yeah, I can't activate this shit while I'm in the game. No idea what broke. Yeah. 
And it fucked itself. Bro, I swear it's like slightly off so in some way. Something is just not right. I don't know what happened though. Like hotkeys always active.
Still nothing. It worked for a second, so
どうしたもんかね逃げられる前にやっつけねえとな。
やろうってのか逃げられる前にやっつけねえとなここだでしりん。I'll probably play around with Rosetta, do some uh, main story ultimate stages while I wait on West to show up, then we can farm. Ah shit, he caught me. No, 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 it was me playing all this time, dude. What do you mean? I can just play and eat at the same time. Where's my cot emote, dude? I actually like that emote. Nice. I might have a little bit of time to uh, play with Rosetta. I just don't know if I dropped anything during this. I don't think so. We can probably do like a couple of griffins, couple of runs, farm other shit too. Yeah, we can stop it now. I'll take it from here.
And I'm fucking swimming with EXP books, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like, you, you will never need EXP. Like, ever again. Yeah, like I said, I'm uh, I'm really happy that they did put resources into Rakam. I mean, I build him as a second character after Nermaya, which definitely was not my plan, like at all. But I was like, you know what? I'll have to farm a lot, and the faster I do this shit, the faster I can farm, like more efficiently and less restrictive. Because, like with Griffins. If we run them, we would be at mercy of running into someone who has Rakam or someone like that built. It's not my I can do shit. Like I'm pretty much reliable on on the rest of the party. Like they have to do stuff so I can contribute the DPS. And that's that's the only thing I can really do. So that was definitely smart choice to do. They didn't feel great at the moment. Because I was like, damn dude, I would rather just build a different character so I can enjoy playing them, but... But yeah, I it, it was definitely the correct play. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we can definitely swap some things out now. Mm, okay, I guess... Did I build the DPS stuff? I did. Wait, how come normal DPS is... Oh, okay, I guess I didn't... I didn't, like, save. So glass cannon goes. And those to go. Ages. Yeah, we'll need Ages for sure. War Elemental, yup. Tyranny, yup. Quick cooldown, Cascade. Drain, Uplift, Quick Cooldown. Okay, so I guess we just get three subs. In this bitch. And we should be good. I cannot wait. Till I have. 12 supplementary fives. It will be a while but. God will it feel good. Okay, we have subs, right, let's save this as DPS. So what we're sitting on uh, overall, um, maxed out sub, stamina and tyranny obviously, ages, yep. We even have a drain which is nice, quick cooldown not quite maxed but hey, we've got Almost 14% minus, so... 6% I can live without it. We have Cascade, 4 levels away, which is pretty good. We even have Uplift for more SBA, which is decent. Why not? Um, where's the Uplift? Uplift is on damage cap. Can we put anything else on it? Uh... What do we have, actually? What do we have for damage caps? Do we have anything else that I could, like, utilize here? Uh, I could grab quick cooldown again. But do I care, though? It's like 6%. Probably still better than SBA, though. Fuck it. Okay, now quick cooldown is maxed. 
Cascade is almost max. I mean, this ideally will common right stone. Drain also should come at right stone, so then we can replace drain with. Okay, I don't know what. Maybe uplift. Maybe nimble. Actually, probably Cascade, because Tyranny will run with Aegis, and Aegis will be replaced with... Um... Yeah... Tyranny with Aegis... Uh, the song? I think this is... No, that's Transcendent Beat. Transcend Beat. It's from the... Uh, Cold Steel, uh, the second game. There you go. I think there's a lot of good ones in in the whole series. It's like five games. There's there's a lot of good ones. This one is uh, a little a little fields for me. This is the menu music. It just feels different, man. It just yeah, it just hits different. When you start the game and then when you finish the game, this shit just has a little different weight on it. That's why I fucking love uh, video game musics. That's why I love it. Okay, we have to get rid of ages now. What could we get? Yeah. Like, when you start, you don't really feel much about the menu music. It's there. But you probably will hear it a couple of times because you will be AFK or whatever. Um... Plus, you know, it probably will give you this new adventure awaits or whatever. And then afterwards, when you beat the game, and especially shit like JRPG, when you pulled in like 80 hours, 100 hours to beat it. And then finally, you know, you after credits, after everything that went down, you're fucking like, you know, drained from all, from all the story that, that was presented. And then this place right and you get the main menu uh again and you're like shit you kind of have to sit there and just fucking reflect for a couple minutes and what they do in in those games is you have different different menu at the beginning of the game and at the end of the game so once you beat the game you 
Like the main menu will look a little different. It will have a different image. For the first two games, I think you get like different animations actually. But I think, yeah, I think the third and fourth game didn't have animations at all for main menu. So they just have image, but the first two games have animations. Yeah, it's, it, it's just different. Alright, we need Link to get there, maybe? There it is, quick cooldown. So then maybe... Oh, do we say fuck it to drain? Maybe we say fuck it to drain. Yeah. Uh. Okay, Rose is ready to use. Now I just need to fucking check if I have any good right stones. Actually, how much Mirage Munition? I have, like, basically none. Cool! Very cool. Crit with Drain and Cascade. I swear, dude, the fucking good right stones just don't exist. Granted, I guess I haven't been, like, saving shit for them much or paying attention. I guess if I, like, just kept kept rolling trans marvels and just keep them, then maybe I would feel different, but... Yeah, I, but I think I think it's because I'm re-rolling Transmarvel constantly. Because I'm pretty sure the Transmarvel shit is usually like high level. So all of those shits that I have are probably from level 3 uh, transmutation. It's because I pretty much never save Transmarvels anymore. That's why I'm not getting the good ones. Or like high level ones anymore. I don't know, like, at some point I'll have to, like, just keep going. Because see, like, this one, level 9 minimum. See, so, yeah, I'll be paying attention more to right stones. Another quick damage, really? Maybe I should save that. I 
Oh, this one only seven. That one's fucking low. Yeah. I mean, I knew like Drain and, and Cascade are probably the best two like subsets you can have on Rhydestone from like the very beginning, basically. Drain started being good after I learned there is a cap for the healing. And Cascade was always there because it's one of the only things that you actually want to have and only goes up to level 20, which is... Yeah, I mean, it, it's almost as if you kind of want to have one in your build and then one on your right stone. Because getting two 15s in your build seems like a waste. Like, you're gonna have, like, what, level 32 and maximum is 20. So you overshoot it by 12 levels. I just feel super wasteful. All I can say, dude, is um, you would actually love this game, the Cold, Cold Steel series. I don't know if you would love the gameplay itself, but the story, though, I'm pretty sure you will you would like it. There's like no doubt in my mind he would like it. It's just such a tough sell every time, dude. <laughs> I want to sell the game to someone. Yeah, never saving that one. Charlotte again, go suck a dick. It's like the first game is super whatever. Like I, I appreciate the first game and I don't mind first game at all because there are some cool moments in it and. It's kind of like, yeah, it's supposed to be that way. The story is supposed to look like that. It's it's beginning, so... It's supposed to, yeah, be slower and just less stakes and all of that stuff. And I think then the second game picks it up nicely. Um, and, like, is infinitely more interesting. Where you get a glimpse of what's ahead of you and then third and fourth game are just like we're finally serious now yeah dude i look i beat the first game and second game probably like seven eight times each I have like hundreds of hours uh, in both games. I play them on PlayStation Vita. I play them on PC. I play them on PlayStation 4. So I beat them on almost every platform there is. Uh, I think the only platform I didn't beat it on, which I think has it, is Switch. I know it has third and fourth. I'm not sure if it has the first and second game. But I I played and replayed it many, 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 many times. Third and fourth game I beat. I beat Japanese versions of third and fourth on PlayStation 4. I beat the English versions on PlayStation 4. And then I beat both of them recently on PC. And all of them are 100 uh, achievements on, on Steam. Like all four games. So I replayed... Third and fourth game, probably like three times each, maybe four times each. So I, it's my favorite series of all time. Uh, 
Like, if you ask me what is my favorite game, it would be kind of hard to say. But I will always say, like, in terms of favorite series of games, like, for sure this. Yeah. And the nice thing is that, like, if you don't enjoy combat, easy fix. Like, I enjoy combat, so I put it on hardest difficulty. I put it on uh, Nightmare, which is supposed to be used for only uh, New Game Plus, but, you know, because I'm just fucking... I'm just a fiend. Plus, you know, once you've played and replayed them so many times, you're kind of like, yeah, let me... Get some challenge in here, I guess. Um, it's like I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm <laughs> just made that way. Um, but you can put it on story, and from what I remember, story was just like you literally don't think have to touch anything like build wise on characters ever. You just, you just kill shit pretty easily. And you don't have to grind, like, at all, if you put it on easy. I mean, even on Nightmare, I wasn't grinding. The only shit I was doing is make sure to fight the enemies for the first time, so you can complete your, uh, your field notes for enemies. So I just needed to, like, you know, see them once in combat to scan them, and that's it. So, like, I, I wasn't usually farming either, even on Nightmare. Like on story, I'm sure you can just blast through and if you don't care much about getting all of the additional um, like drops and other things, then you can probably just ignore map exploration too, which if you're not playing like me and you just care about the story and you just want to see the story, fuck side quests and shit, you can definitely cut the time needed to complete the game. Probably from, like, my usual 180 hours to, I don't know, 30, 40 hours, I would imagine. It's like, significantly cut the, the time needed. I enjoy food, dude. this uh, how many do we have six oh. I'll wake up for six dude
Right, I probably should fix that before. Alright, I'll have to remember to level up the the weapon for the MC. It's one thing I forgot and wasn't even leveled. I didn't even see that fucking animation before, what? How much damage does it do? Ah, I think it has like fucking multiple damage instances. That's nice. You just have to poison me. You little bitch. Oh, 
Very tough goblin. ゴブリンどもが作った鳥でたごが。皆さん、非合ですね。祈り場での旅支度も。ヘロちゃんにお任せです。子供の声だ、イサクさん。ここってまさか闘技場？ゴブリンどもがうじゃうじゃと。だが襲ってくる気はねえみてえだな。Be mad. Oh, 
You don't scare me. I fought fucking bigger threats than you, bitch. You little bitch. Here I saw the color.
フラカンの力に増大しているおいおいこいつは変身ってやつかあら青少獣だもの珍しくはないわ青少獣あそこ発光戦争の際に生み出されたきっしの神とかでもその兵器は戦いのあと空の世界に残されたあるものは土地に根付きあるものは信仰の対象となりあるものは人々と生活を共にし文明の発展に寄与しいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいWhat's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, with the major just finishing some shit that I gotta do. <laughs> and then, <laughs> excuse me. And then I will be on. I need to get fucking exceptional Rufinium to finish Lancelot. Um, obviously, I need EXP crystals because I want to max out my IOs weapon and shit at least their base weapons and shit and then i'll definitely want to max out yugen too i mean fucking really rack them too but that that's like i don't even know how many fucking uh crystals that would be on fucking average i'm so we are actually kind of working on the same shit i'm also working on io yeah i got all her weapons uncapped now i'm trying to get her ready for AFK party. Um, cause I want to at least try and do some slime shit overnight tonight at the very fucking least. So I can wake up with the more Azerites I get, the more sigils I can max out, the more characters I can have built for offline shit. And yeah. it will just be better. Yeah, Granted, so. The slime's the only shit that matters. Is the, um. Like the range MC, or well, uh, the main carry. Yeah. It's, it's like your yeah, your bodies yeah. can't even fucking hit those shits. Like, my numbers will be exactly the same with whatever fucking party I will do. It's kind of stupid that AI cannot fucking hit slimes. I don't know. I don't know why that's a design choice. Uh, it just feels fucking weird. Yeah, that's why like I'm hoping to test and see if I have Rackham, Yugen, and Io. If like, you know, when Io's trying to kill a slime that's targeted and does an AoE skill, maybe she'll grab some other ones too. Like I'm trying to see if there's a way that you can beat the system almost. And yeah, to level up all of these shits, because it's about 160 per, I, I need fucking 800 crystals. Well, I can tell you that the uh, rose plants uh, bypass. Rose plants will at out attack the um, the slimes automatically, even if they are not triggered. That's good. Which is kind of cool. I was thinking, like, if I could somehow abuse that but it's kind of hard even like level four plants like you cannot really cover whole map you can cover decent amount of it but not whole Let me do my my fucking daily Nexus mod check. See what they added. They added some interesting shit, but it was and you lost me. Cagliostro uncensored, dude. This motherfucker needs to be arrested. <laughs> 
Uh, can't wait for that one, dude. Now we fucking uh, adjusted her knee size. And we also made it so her um, waist is, is slightly thinner. It's like the dumbest shit, man. I, I don't know. Man said, thank you a lot. At last, the game will be what it should have been. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, both sides are just fucking cooked. Both sides are so fucking cooked. Actually, I take it back. Both sides are kind of cooked, but... <laughs> this side might be worse. The, the, this side is definitely worse. It, it literally just got rid of everything, so she's just in her panties, dude. It's like, why do you want to see... Quite literally a child, because we know that she reincarnated, like she chose a child Wait, what? body. Yeah, look, so I'm... I'm not gonna put this shit in the fucking uh, chat. Yeah, you can, you can just do the Discord. Wait, so they just... Oh, I see. So they, they basically yeah. changed it so, yeah. so it's panties yeah, no, uh, instead. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know how it's typically like the leggings and the straps and shit like that? Nope, just panties. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they... They covered... Like, with every single character, they made it so they're not wearing panties. I guess minus Rosetta, maybe. I think yeah. the rest are... At least I don't recollect there being uh, pennies, but then again, like, I wasn't paying much attention to it. I just like how <laughs> this shit has the most fucking downloads, dude. Now the game, the game is restored, dude. We, we have our pennies now. Great. Yeah, they I have mean, like some wrong, kind of like, like, you know, like, fuck, I don't even know what the, what to call them, like kind of boxers and stuff. Yeah. Like when you look at shit, like fairy, for example. Like I've noticed that on like one or two characters, and I was like, huh, I guess, I guess they just don't want to do panties at all. Because you would think she has like, you know, more skimpy, but not at all. So I, I guess that was just censoring which again like i i'm not a fan of censoring but the other side like just creeps me out because it's one thing not liking censorship it's the other thing to be fucking like like a horny idiot um just like i i don't know like to me that's like taking way too fucking far like those people are mentally sick they're like they feel yeah. like the, I could, I could the world be came back together because panties yeah, I... now exist. It's like, dude, stop being disgusting fucking weirdo. Those are the guys that sit in VTuber chats and donate money to VTubers and stuff. Like, it's just, it's just disgusting. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I could, I could be mad about censorship for characters I give a fuck about, but liter quite literally, nobody logically with any right sense of mind should be wanting to see fucking Cagliostro in panties while she does any of her abilities. Or I mean, I, 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 I don't I don't even care like on this level like I it's yeah I, don't, I mean I me. don't care but like I you know like say for, for me it's just principle thing the, you know I yeah, just don't want some censorship that's that's that for we seen some of the outfits for some of the other characters um on the grant blue wiki like when we look through like if yeah. they were to come with like completely different outfits that took away from like what they were showing off in the game yeah i'd be fucking pissed right because why literally like you said why why even bother there's no fucking point yeah just leave it like, as it as it was designed like that's i don't know it's like me, it's i don't even know simple. if i look at if i look at cagliostro on the fucking wiki am i even gonna see her in an outfit like that you know, I, I and J and th this is like super known JRPG stuff. Um, they do it all the time. They have silly outfits in Cold Steel as well as DLC. So, 
It's it's literally pretty much every single JRPG. They always have additional outfits and it's always shit like swimsuits, uh, shit like fucking um, magical girl, this kind of stuff. I never wear those because like to me that just destroys the it destroys the the theme, you know, of like the character. Like imagine if I was running as Normaya in fucking like school swim outfit or something. Like it's just yeah. It just looks fucking off. It looks off and it doesn't fit her. And so like I never use those um, outfits unless they're like, you know, they fit well and they look cooler than original outfit, which doesn't happen often like at all. Um, so like to me, again, like I don't really care about the censorship or, well, I don't care about the, uh, you know, the, 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 the outfits and all of that stuff, but for me, it's just the principal thing of like, there's no need for a censorship. Let's just leave it as it as it was originally, and and that's that. And even if it's character that I like, never would give a fuck about, you know, like Cagliostro, don't care really. Um, Charlotta, fucking, I would rather not even see her in in, you know, skimpy outfits and shit. Like that 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 shit is just fucking disgusting. But. But again, it's not, it's not fucking, it's not my call, basically. Like, to me, if it was originally done X way, then it should stay X way, even if I don't like it. That's, that's basically my stance for it. And, but the people take it, like, as you see, way fucking higher than they need to, and they make, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, to me, it's just degenerate fucking porn behavior, you know? Like, it's not It's not about censorship. It's about I want to have uh, a horny, you know, uh, outlet in the game, I guess. Like, like, horny fantasies in the game. That kind of stuff. And that's, that shit is fucking awful. And it's just, yeah, it's just disgusting, so... So th those people can, you know, go and burn, basically. But usually what devs will do is, like, the character is sexy and then they will make her less sexy because censorship. And it's like, well, that's... That's not cool because the character was supposed to be sexy. Like that yeah, That was her whole design, right? Like she was supposed to be appealing and and all of that shit. So like you're taking away from that stuff. It's the same way as if they did the opposite. Like I would be the exact um amount annoyed if they did the opposite of like you have a cool character that's like I don't know fucking uh normal girl or like you know um righteous and stuff like that and then they made her sexy in the game like that would annoy me as well because that's not her character like, she's supposed to be this you know upstanding citizen and and this righteous girl like she would never wear that kind of stuff and then you make her like wear skimpy shit like that just doesn't fit at all like that that would annoy me honestly probably even more because one of them is like making them less sexy. This one is like completely reversing the character, going from no sexy at all into into sexy realm. Like, yeah, that's even worse. Oh, my favorite enemy. Oh, <laughs> 
800 crystals to max out every fucking weapon that you craft is just nuts. Is it 800? Yeah, because... Alright, so from this level 65 to level 150, it's 157. Uh, for the level 20 to 150, it's 162. From level 40 to 120, it's 161. From level 1 to 150, it's 162. So I just say all of them are 160, and that times 5 is 800. And I have 402 large crystals right now. And I really, I would need more than that. Because I need to max out all the IO's weapons, I need to max out all the Yugen's weapons. I think it takes like... I think 900 crystals or so for a character to get the max. Because I think it's like what... Like usually 150 large crystals per weapon. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a little, I guess... If I do that, yeah, so it's 162 for that. Uh, what about this level one weapon? 163 for that. So yeah, I mean on average it's like around 160. Yeah. So I, that's why I just did 160 times one, two, three, four, five, six. Up. Oh, well, you yeah, have, I guess you it have would be six. five weapons. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, six. I have. Yeah. Yeah, so you're right, it is 900. Because I had fucking... 960, so it's basically a stack. Yeah, a stack. A yeah, stack per stack. character, which... Yeah, it... But, like, I don't lot. know, dude. Yesterday, we, we ran those bitches, and I had, like, 400 crystals or something. We barely ran griffins, it felt like. So it actually, yeah, we had, it actually goes oh, fast. We had good runs. Yeah, if you got good runs, it definitely does go fast. Yeah, I mean, that's the nice thing of having fucking Rakam maxed. We can pre pretty much go into any party and we should be good. Mine is like some, you know, very useless ones, but... I don't think I've run into bad parties, like, almost ever. Like, pretty much every time I queue up, there are people that, yeah, they just help me kill the stage or they doing like the same damage as me and like that IO yesterday, for example, they're fucking smoking hard. It's way easier to play when you actually have like good character and you don't have to rely on, you know, someone else queuing up with good Rakam, which is nice. And I need three fucking griffin feathers to make this last weapon. Not for me. Bro, I don't even know how Cagliostro originally looks like, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I mean, it, you know, all we would have to do is just fucking get on the... See. Yeah, so she... This is exactly what I was saying, right? She She's wearing, like, a fucking, um... I don't know, bloomers? I, I don't fucking know what they're yeah. called. Yeah. For a woman, but... Definitely not panning, so... Okay, well... I guess that's just and, uh, what they did um, for Western release, maybe. I mean, because it's like, there's really no way for us to check that, right? Like, there's no Japanese version of the game that has different... Right? Like, I don't think so. Uh, maybe. There is there is a chance the Japanese one has it. Or it might have been like, you know, they they did the this version first and then, you know, the PR people, whatever, said that like, yeah, we need to like, you know, move it down a notch. And... They just made, you know, the secondary version that was less 
I don't even know what to call them. Less sexy. Um, and they just went with that. But those files are, like, I would imagine, probably either hidden or still somewhere there or whatever. It's just like... It, it, I wonder how they even got those files in the first place. The mods. Because I'm assuming they, they didn't create them. Like, they were probably already... In the game, but I don't know why you would oh, leave uh, it in the may, game. I feel like I feel like maybe they did create them because when you go through some of the fucking things, like oh well, this happens with this or this, like this interaction causes this to happen. So it makes me wonder if somebody did just fucking edit the shit themselves because it's not that hard to fucking get the model and do so. But you know they fuck here. Let me let me see if I can look back at that shit that I sent you. I mean, usually like, they, like, for the mods, they said that they, that this is the uncensored version, right? So, that, yeah. to me, that both of the posts read, or mods read as, uh, this is how it originally looked like, and they censor it last minute in the game. I don't know how they got the uncensored versions, though. It says, Uncensored Cagliostro's cloth replace her spats with pants and cl also include skirt and cloak option. And then the dude's like, her pants and her body doesn't aren't well connected. Her body is smaller than her pants, so I wish it can be repaired soon. Thanks. Uh, this mod makes her black alternate color scheme have a white cape. Please fix. Pants and normal skirt version doesn't work for other colors. Um... Cause it's like that's to me. It's like, well, if it was in the game, wouldn't it work for everything? Like, if yeah, that the, 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 this one, something? this one sounds like it's just fucking someone fantasizing here, not like they, the, the they themselves are uncensoring it and not yeah. and not restoring the like, previous design or something. So that is just fucking weird, man. Like with. With Cagliostro, yeah, for sure, but with Normaya stuff, like, that one felt like it was in the game, and then it, they decided to, like, pull it back a little. Yeah. The developers. That one, because that it's, like, it's, su it's such, like, you know, specific things, like, fucking a small too. piece of like cloth at the me. edge, like... Yeah, we had to actually dig to... Yeah, yeah we had to actually dig for this shit to even notice. Like, I don't know how you would come up with this if that was just a mod and not... We've seen how it was previously designed and we restore it, kind of thing. It's just funny, dude, because if I go to the fucking, like, downloads, if I sort by downloads, it's literally like... Where is this shit at? Let's go to Relink. And then go to fucking popular 30 days. Popular all time. Oh, did they smoke it? I think they smoked it, dude. Yep, they smoked. Well, it's not smoke, but it doesn't show up when you do popular 30 days. Because it, it definitely has the most downloads. The Narmaya right shit? No, the, uh, the Cagliostro shit. Yikes. It, it has... Not surprising, like, so, but still, yikes. Yep, yep, it's it's now the most downloaded with 3,700 downloads. And that shit just dropped today, dude, so they were fucking on it. What can I but, say, dude? Sex sells. It's it's fucking all the times. Uh, uh, I mean, the Zeta Uncensored has 3,600, so that's nice, but I mean, even looking at the Zeta Uncensored shit is just like... Probably it's, the same fucking person too doing all of those. And it is just like like same I look at Zeta and I'm like Zeta is already cute. Like looking at this shit, it, it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. Like it'd be different if this like I, I don't know, to me it's just like this shit literally does absolutely nothing for me. Like I don't I don't get aroused when I see this. This doesn't make the gameplay better for me now that I can see like her panties. It's just like I, I, brother, I literally don't care. Mod a new fucking character into the game. Uh, get creative with that shit, dude. I'll pay I you guess... to mod fucking new character into the game. I guess it wasn't the same guy. 
Just nah, surprising. It's, it's literally, yeah, it's literally a different because at least like the Zeta was by Thor seven seven seven, and then the the fucking the Cagliostro is by um, Pier eight two one. It's literally on like first page with Zeta shit. Hot mods and it's Zeta uncensored and Catalina no cape. Yeah. It's the no cape or cape like that that I understand. Oh next one. G the second costume shorter skirt and shorts removal. Great dude. Dark Dragoon Forte. <laughs> it's Zeta with I think it's Zeta. They did a Zeta A2, which I honestly wish they would have did a better job on the skin portion, because I would have honestly been interested in putting that in my game. But, like, it it, it doesn't look that good to me. Maybe I'm just a hater. It's I don't even know who that hating. is. You remember A2 from Nier Automata? I don't know if that's the one I'm looking at. Oh, uh, I'm looking, I, I was looking at what I just sent you on Discord. Yeah, definitely not the same. Let me see this. Nah, been, the, the twin if they tails. Did the like, shading right, dude. Yeah, and the twin tails definitely ruined it. But if they would have did the shading right, it definitely could have cooked and gave her a different hair option. Yeah, this this definitely ain't it. I was just like, y'all were so close yet so far, dude. Besides, A2 didn't use the fucking spear, I'm pretty sure. She used the sword, like two-handed sword. Or am I cooked? Maybe she did use spear? Nah, nah, she definitely used... She definitely used fucking um, the, the sword. But I think maybe she used the spear too? I don't. I would have to see. Like, I was looking at this, and I... I, I'm not sure who that is. Dark Dragoon? No idea. That actually looks like it's definitely a better fucking skin than the A2 one, though. Yeah. I, you know, like, I'm I'm fine with skins. and Like, I knew, like, this shit will be fucking super popular for... Um... For the fucking mods, because yeah, I mean it's anime game, so like even more so, people just want different looks, uh, different characters they like. So like I know this shit gonna be very popular. It's like. I'm 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 just looking at like some of the uncensored shit and it's just like even when me and you play the game there's never been a thought or occurrence of me to like if I ever tried a female character to just like want to look up their skirt or anything like that. Like I'm literally fucking over here doing the big biggest EPS fucking combo possible, dude. I'm not worried about that shit right now. I don't know, I just I don't see the satisfaction. Like if it's if it's the way it was supposed to be and you're restoring it, that's cool. You know, like why did they change it? But then it's like if you're going out of your way to make these mods to do this, it's like, brother, are you even playing the game? Like if this shit is like so like pivotable like pivotal to your gameplay, you can't be playing the same game as me. Bro, this <laughs> The Zeta one, they literally took took away her bra. So she's just wearing fucking armor and on her naked boobs. Like brother, there's no way that was original design. Like no shot. <laughs> and the fucking panties, it's literally it's the same fucking thing. All they did was just like cut out cut it shorter. That's it. Like it's literally exact same model they just moved the edge or like the ending of the bloomers uh app like like closer that's it <laughs> literally that's it oh my fucking god i mean degens will be degens that's 
Yeah, no, it just is what it is, man. I don't know. Like to me, it, it feels weird that all of them are we wearing like bloomers and like you know all of that stuff. It, it just feels weird um, because I feel like there's no way all of them are wearing. But I don't know. Maybe maybe that just is what it is, dude. Um, Let me look at Cagliostro on the fucking. What what is Cagliostro wearing in the fucking mobile game, dude? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like to me, again, like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect my gameplay or anything like that at all. So, like to me, Narmaya looks cool. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, I just like her design regardless. So, to me, it's like whatever. I literally think it's the same as the fucking mobile game, dude. Like at least for Cagliostro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I mean, even you, some you're of not her, gonna her see the. Version. Yeah, you're not gonna see the panties in the mobile version because mobile version uses only sprites, and there's no way they they would do like an upskirt sprite for her. So yeah, and I mean, even her summer fucking costume is, you know, will always be cut short. Like, you know, the perfect abstraction. And the summer yeah, outfit yeah. is probably like fucking one piece swimsuit yeah, by the looks yeah. of it, which, yeah, that's usually what they do for lolly characters. Just add a swim one piece swimsuit for them. Yeah, I just, I just want to know, like, who, who, like Horny where did people. he see yeah that's I, I just like where did you see this to go in and start editing the model dude because like it doesn't exist in the media that she's from at the very least so like what because they what, visit what, other websites dude that's why yeah that's why like i just wanted to make sure like you're going out of your way to make this shit seem you're you're not like restoring anything natural or anything like that like you're literally going out of your way to see this yeah, I mean it. That's that's just like one of the problems I usually had with games, uh, like for example, Cold Steel, or this one, um, with like those outfits and shit. It's like, yeah, some of them are fucking you know sexy and cute and stuff, but like, that's not the game. Like I don't know how people can play games with those at like, it's it's just distracting, man. Like. If I'm playing as fucking Normaya, for example, whatever, and she's supposed to be this fucking, you know, badass warrior girl that knows the katana and all of that stuff, like, and now she's wearing something like super skimpy and sexy, it's like, it's just distracting. It, it doesn't fit, first of all, but then second of all, it's just fucking distracting to the gameplay. Because you're supposed to, you know, play play the game. And yeah. and instead you're like half teasing yourself constantly. Like I don't know. Like that to me was just always fucking weird. Um when I'm playing sex game, hentai, that's completely understandable in that genre, yeah, that makes fucking sense because that's what you go there for. But when I'm playing shit like fucking I don't know, uh Skyrim or like normal RPG where I'm like focused on the story, on the combat, on fucking um progression. I don't I don't wanna see that shit. Like that's just distracting. It doesn't fucking fit into the gameplay loop at all. So I don't know how people can do it, man. I just I just don't get it. Like I can't imagine myself like constantly looking out for mods that like for example I know people play fucking naked mods, right? Can you imagine playing fucking naked mod in this game? Like, it's just... It would be so fucking ass, man. Yeah, that's... I'm doing Normaya combos with her fucking naked on my screen. It's just like... How can you play a game like that, you know? Like, I don't... I don't know, man. I just don't get it. It's a separate thing if you go on the fucking, like, afterwards, go on the website and, you know look up the, the, the porn for her or whatever, like that, okay, I can understand that, but but fucking editing the models in-game so you can 
play as a naked Normaya, like, it's, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense, that's for sure. Uh, let me take this shit downstairs. Submit this. It's a burn. Rebalance, brother. Charge time minus 50, bro. More like may your character fucking even more OP than they already can be. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I've seen that, that one. I wouldn't be as mad if it was in the game, but because it's not in the game, I will never download or use that.
Yeah, and I think that's fine. Like, I, I do agree that the current system is ass. It just, it, it's so funny to me, dude, because I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at the, um, one of the mods, which is the rebalance mod for sigils. And I'm like, dude, this shit should definitely not be called rebalance, like at all. Uh, yeah, it's literally like, it's just make them OP. It doesn't have anything to do with balance. So like, Narmaya unique sigil changed from like 50% uh, to retain your butterflies to 99%, which is like, I don't, I don't even know why 99. Like, why not make it 100% at that point? Glass Cannon, damage cap instead of 30, 40%. Quick Charge, instead of minus 20%, minus 50% cast time. So instead of sh shaving one fifth, you're shaving half of the cast. Like, that's, that's fucking insane. Insane buff. Life on the line, instead of 50, 70% attack. Power hungry instead of 30-60%. Flight over fight. Instead of losing 50% attack, you're losing only 25%. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. It's like, I, I, I don't know how you even would want to use this garbage. Like, you, it's already... Like, you already can hit the power, power spikes and all of that shit in your character. Like, this is just going over power mode. I don't know. Yeah, I mean... There, there has to be some like fucking some kind of balance too in the game. You can't just fucking. You can't just add like shit like this, man. Like minus fifty percent cast time. Let's fucking also make cooldown one. Do minus fifty percent cooldown instead of twenty percent cooldown, which I'm. I feel like they probably have that honestly. Let's fucking make cascade. Reduced like with each out attack reduce it by five percent or some shit like Like no dude this this shit is too much It's too much too fucking much Yeah, someone is fucking asking for a rework of glass cannon so it doesn't even have the downside at all. Like, bro, just fucking play the goddamn game. Stop being a pussy. And, like, at this point, just instead of doing sigils and shit, just make, like, download a god mode or some shit for your characters and so you never lose HP, never can get hit and stuff. Like, do that instead. Like, permanent invincibility. And then make it so your auto attacks do fucking, you know, millions of damage per auto. Might as well, because at this point, like, you're not playing the game. Yeah, part of me is like, maybe they did an oversight with the Dizzy. Part of me is maybe they did this shit on purpose, so you cannot just disable the negative uh, on like a very powerful 
sigil. Like they knew the sigil will be important to have, but they didn't want you to to just have it for free like that. Which, yeah, I understand. But I think it's just like, it, it still comes back to design being bad in the game with like gearing, because even if it was possible, then everyone would be running it and everyone would be running two dizzy resistances to max it out, which would only make it even worse. Like gearing already is fucking terrible. That would make it even worse because now everyone would be running additional sigil glass cannon and additionally to sap stats dizzy resistances in every single build like it, it already feels like copy paste every every build so with this i would be like a pretty much almost no wiggle room of what different shit you have in your in your build Like, the Dizzy resistance works, but it only works on, like, normal Dizzy. The Dizzy you get from Glass Cannon is just, like, I don't know, it, it, it must be a special debuff. It's called the same, which is Dizzy, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, separately... It's coded separately from normal Dizzy. That's why it doesn't work. And that's why it doesn't get affected either on, like, shorter... Uh, Dizzy timer. It's like a unique dizzy, basically. Yeah, I know. I, to me, that's just like. Even if, if supplementals wouldn't um, exist, there's not really much you can put into those slots. That's and that is my problem. That is my fucking problem. Like it all goes back to originally gearing is just bad because like even if you do get rid of supplementary, well, cool. Now you have free slots, but what are you putting there? Because any damage ability is irrelevant. Like anything that gives you damage is irrelevant because caps exist. So you cannot put any more HP on, on onto your character either because that will go above 45,000 HP and we cannot have that. So can't do more HP either. Okay, well, what else is left? You have shit like linked together, which people already kind of use, right? You have like shit like Stout Heart, which I already use on Narmaya. So there's that. Um... And then you can run shit like, you know, Steel Nerves or um, Steady Focus, which I already run both on Nermaya as defensive measures. Uh, and then you go into shit like Precise Rough or Nimble Focus or uh, like any of those. But they don't even have like plus versions. So those stats, like, you can't even really use them as main stats because then you're wasting a slot. That's that's why like just gearing in this game is bad. Like even if you do get those extra slots, like I said, even if you had 20 slots for sigils, it wouldn't matter because the gearing is just it just ass. Like realistically, you're not running any gray skill, right? Flat attack flat HP, uh, crit rate or stun, you're probably not running any of those, okay? You're not running any orange skills because you already maxed out on damage, so okay, orange skills are a no. So now you're only left with blue skills. But blue skills are pretty much all resistances. You can't run more, more HP. So what is left in blue skills? Like, you can run, for example, 
a nebyl defense. You can write, uh, uh, you can use like a special one which only has one stat. Shit, like, well, any of the special ones, I guess. If you're already going the special route, you can use any of the special ones. But like nimble defense, which does what? Gives you more invincibility, gives you more, uh, gives you defense and recovers some HP on perfect dodge. Okay, so you you can do that. You can do the Precise Resilience, which is, I think, the same shit, but with Guard instead. Okay. And then what? You can do Improved Dodge. They have more dodges. And it's easier to do a perfect dodge. Okay. You can do Improved Guard, which is, again, like the same shit, but with Guard. Steel Nerves. Um, we already talked about. Uh, Stronghold is a special one, but that one is pretty good. Garrison is reverse of Stronghold. So the lower your HP, the higher defense, which, eh, not as good. Ages, again, we can't run more HP anymore. That's it, like, okay. Like, is there really, like, anything interesting here that you would be, like... Fucking amazing, I can run it now. I don't know, not really. Doesn't feel like it. I think Garrison is pretty ass for pretty much everyone. Because, like, if you're low HP, you're getting one shot anyway. Like, that extra defense is not doing anything. Stronghold is good, on the other hand. Because that one works the more HP you have. So, this one prevents you from getting one shotted. But, this one is only a curio drop. So, realistically, it's only gonna come with... Plus nothing, right? It will be by itself. Steel nerves you can have as a secondary because there's not many secondaries you want anyway. So you can have secondary steel nerves. Or have it uh, as a primary. So like, sure. Like, you can have that. Which will uh, make it so you take less uh, damage when you have stout heart. You can have the special Stout Heart permanent, which is good. Like, that one is pretty fucking good to have. Like, I'm using it. And then the rest is basically just either dodge or guard improvements, which, you know, if you like them, sure. And then just resistances. Because then you go into those and you want it to have, like, a region maxed, for example. Well... You don't have region 5+, plus. it can only be secondary, but there are better secondaries to run. So, can't really drain this fucking garbage. Quick cooldown, you're probably already running. Same with Cascade. Uplift feels kind of whatever. And then Precise Rough and Onslaught. Like, sure, maybe they would be cool, but... There's just no good, like, main stat stuff. That has... Like, all of those are cool, but as a secondary. Not as, a, not, not as primary. And I feel like the only shit from orange stuff that you can actually run that's like fun and useful would probably just be linked attack. Maybe quick charge, like quick charge if you have charge attacks. That's pretty much it. So if quick charge and link, uh, link together, which quick charge only useful on char on like few characters. Like I don't know if I would be running quick charge on Normaya, for example. Maybe on Percival makes a bit more sense, but. On Percival, I think you can use, like, some ability to, like, cancel. Or, like, use the ability, cancel the ability, and then use charge attack that's, like, fully chargeable. So you can, like, bypass the the charging stuff on him anyway. So, like, I don't know who would, who would even use it. Like, usually, you already have mechanics that kind of naturally help with the charge shit. 
like Narmaya, for example, like I charge faster if I have butterflies or if I'm doing the combo, and you should be doing the combo so you can do damage. So I don't really see how I would ever use quick charge. Honestly, I just have to, I have to get more familiar with Percival, I guess. Actually, I guess I should just go on the Discord and ask what skill. Uh, Either that or ask Zero. Like, I know he knows because he was talking about it. But there is some kind of skill that I think it's even reusable or has charges or some shit. And you can just, like, quickly cancel it. And then have, like, the super quick charge. Like, I know he was talking about it, and that's, like, the main reason why Percival can do so much fucking DPS and why he was considering him, like, a big DPS character. But I'm not sure which skill that is. Yeah, I mean, uh, luckily the Percival mocked, he said... Do I even have Mach? Uh, Mach, but his other skills can do it too. Oh, I don't have Mach on. Is Mach the one that? Yes. Mach Royal. Or maybe it was like on low cooldown. There was definitely something about it that was just like. All damage skills is that you can get charging bonus after can be used. Just a window of opportunity is smaller for soon. Royal had a better window. Rotisserie chicken can also quick charge. That is a funny name for a fucking skill, dude. What was the name? He called it rotisserie chicken, but it's the one this that fucking does the, the fire spin. You know, the <laughs> one where it's like the little circular spin and shit like that. Yeah. It stays there. He called it fucking rotisserie chicken. That is a funny name. All right, let me, I guess you can start the session um, and I'll join it and then I'll go really quickly to see how easy it is to cancel this shit. Yeah, like I said, all of it goes back to just gearing not being good. Good, yeah. Like, I was thinking about it, dude. Would the game be better if Gearing was, like, in fucking Honkai? Where you have, like, sets and you have substats and it's RNG and you could farm for them? Like, would that Man, be better? I would, I would genuinely love if this game had sets as opposed to, like, sigils. Like, imagine the term, the weapon still exists. Wrightstone still exists, right? But we have sets instead. You have a four piece and a two piece. Four piece, whatever, two piece, whatever. They all have unique fucking things. And then we could just farm mission for gear. I would, I would probably like that much more because you know me, if there was a lifestyle set, I would run that on every single character, but I, I'd have the option to run whatever I wanted to, because I would just need good substats at the end of the game or uh, at the end of the day. I know that it would make gearing more unique and like, you know, it, it would be a process, right? Like trying to figure mm -hmm. out which sets you want to have on the character and then, you know, actually grinding them for the right substats and shit. I don't know if that would like feel better because it would be RNG as fuck and, and probably pretty fucking grindy, but I don't know. Like, I, I feel like maybe that would have been better than just like copy paste sigils. Because this shit is like, unless you're trying to like super min max, it's kind of like easy to get the build, you know? Yeah. Because your choices are so like limited. And the fact that you can just reuse that shit on everyone. So like realistically, after you get one character, you, you kind of have them all now. Unless you're running like offline party and you want like all four to be geared, which it's just like it, it's pretty niche. Mm. 
mocked. Look, uh, mocked Royal and fucking Fergie. What what are we even like farming? Uh, I mean, I need Raffinium to max Lancelot's weapon. We both need crystals. Um, I mean, I'm good to just I'm, I'm good to fuck around on Proud, dude. Just so you can like just use Rosetta. Because realistically, like, you know, if I get to a point with fucking Splendors, I don't need to fucking farm for sigils. I don't need to. The only thing I would literally have to farm for is weapon shit. All right, let's let's do some runs with her, I guess. I do want to swap to fairy at some point and try out fairy. I didn't have a chance yet at all. Mm, sure, let's start with the worst boss immediately. Or or her at least. Boss that fucking moves a fuck ton constantly. Although I don't mind, I don't mind the the ice wolf that much. Wow, that was way easier than I fucking thought it would be. Yeah, you just use it. I'm pretty sure, and then dodge or whatever. Yeah, use it. Yeah, charge. use it. Dodge immediately. Again, like there's not much fucking science to it. It's just yeah. It's I just, most characters I think have it like this where if you use a skill you have like the combo finisher immediately after if you like out attack after skill so I just wonder like when would I even like just want to continuously charge instead of just like doing my skills and do a charge? Like, I don't even know. Well, if you're playing well, that's pretty much the only thing you would be doing, right? Scale into charge. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I just like his fucking skills. Like, that's why I wish quick cooldown worked differently so I could authentically spam his skills it said mocked is probably one of the harder skills to dodge cancel charge with are you sure buddy you literally just pressing it immediately dodge like, i don't want to sound like a dickhead here but i i just dodged as soon as i did it and it's just, it's that fucking easy. I never tried it. But I can't imagine right. it being that hard. Yeah, it's literally not that fucking hard. You just dodge as soon as you do the fucking skill, man. <sighs> Let me see. This this build maxed out, right? Everything level fifteen. Yeah, everything's level fifteen. I think fairy might be pretty pretty fun though. I think I'll run her build basically the same exact way as I do with uh, Narmaya. So she actually should be feeling relatively tanky while having really good damage still. I'll just have to look at the skills for for fairy and figure out like which ones I want to use. <laughs> All right. Haven't used her since I maxed out the Terminus weapon, so... Let's see how it feels. I'll probably give us region. Or defense, I'm not sure. 
Uh, let's try region. Please don't lock on to me. Jesus Christ, man. Wow. Damn, even even with my defense buff, it fucking one shot you. Yeah, I wish he fucking didn't move as much. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, dude. If this is the only thing I was doing, I would definitely not fucking play him. <laughs> I see how it's optimal though, but Lord have mercy. Yeah, I. That's why I fucking. I don't know. I really I'm, hate the I'm optimal the more, way of I, Yeah, dude. The characters. more I'm playing some of these motherfuckers, and the more I find out how it's, you know, quote unquote optimal to play them, I'm like, bro, I'm fucking suffering. No wonder Marson's having so much fucking fun because she does so much damage that you could do whatever the fuck you want, even though you know what to do. I bet there's probably, I would imagine, more optimal way to play her. Probably. But it's just like, I don't know, man. I'm I'm playing yeah. here to have fun. Like, to me, yeah. doing the Rakam jump attack constantly, that sounds awful, dude. I mean, playing it, it Rakam is. is awful. But like... Yeah. But like, on top of it, doing that? Bro. Like, no way. Yeah, like, I'm just... I'm doing this shit and I'm just like, damn, you want me to do the charge attack for like only four, like for the next four minutes, brother? I mean, basically, yeah, that's. Yeah, I see. I'm just like, bruh. <laughs> for the optimal DPS, yep. Yeah, and I, I rather lose like 10% damage or whatever, but actually play the character and have fun than. Do the optimal shit and fucking be miserable. The gameplay of Rakam with those jump attacks, that fucking looks off. Like doing constantly jump and then when you're on the ground almost hitting your fucking attack like dude. Yeah. That sounds yikes dude. That's why I'm not gonna touch, I mean, basically most of the characters you're playing. Yeah, dude, I mean, I'm just... Because I don't fucking, like, that's... I don't want to do that, dude. Like, I'm playing this shit and I'm just like, damn, why is Sig really the only character that I fucking enjoy right now? Like, don't get me wrong, I like Percival. I'm probably not gonna do this. Like, I'm only gonna do this shit maybe, like, fucking when, um, you know... Like, I don't know when a boss is down for a second and all my skills are on cooldown, so I literally just get better DPS. Like, you know, I only got one skill up. Like, if I play him, I'm definitely gonna just play him with the skills and stuff instead of doing like, attack, like skill attack shit canceling. Like, no way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her cooldowns are so fucking good. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling 
a little bit better with cooldowns on him, like at least with the max quick cooldown. Well, I don't I don't think I have two quick cooldowns on. I think I just have like the one in the cascade somewhere. But like Yeah, I have if I had better quick, I think. If I had better fucking sigils, dude. Like a like better tyrannies, better stamina, better other ones, like I would probably be able to slot more shit into my build, but like a lot of my shit is bad, man. And it's because, like you said, it's because we're re-rolling fucking trans marvels. No, she feels she it. still feels good. Like I, I don't know, man, dude, with with cooldowns and with the fucking uh two skills to replant, it doesn't feel awful. It doesn't feel as bad as I as I used her last time. Like you definitely need to have at least two replants on her. Because otherwise, like those bosses will just like you will never hit them. I just wish there was a way to like make those goddamn plants like stick more to the boss. Because they they miss a lot of DPS um constantly it feels like. But do I even have any defensive shit on her now that I think about it? Probably not, right? Yeah, I don't have anything defensive. That, that's why I'm dying so fucking quick. Ah, uh, yeah, it would be nice to have something, but... Yeah, like, my dumbass... Yeah, I got I only got Potion Hoarder. I don't even have Guts on. Yeah, that's why. I don't have Guts or fucking Auto Revive. I just want, like, something that, you know... Makes me not get one shot. Like, that's all I really need. Maybe, maybe I just say fuck quick charge, man. And put something else on that can actually help me. I'm probably gonna f say fuck to linked. Let me put. Wait, I can't put like blue skill that has. Right, I, I can't have double blue. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do any stout shit because I would have to like redesign the character completely. What would I even have to do with her? I would have to get stout sigil which destroys one of the slots and then I would have to have uh, steady with steady focus, what can I put on my damage? Can I put an auto revive on my damage cap? Yeah. What's the other one? Actually, what the fuck is linked together? Steel again? nerves. Hmm. I would have to have steady and. St Which means I would have to probably get rid of like. Two quick cooldowns or get rid of one quick cooldown and one cascade. I don't even have a quick charge with... Oh, I do have a quick charge with auto revive. Maybe I use a quick charge with auto revive instead of the quick charge with improved dodge. Because I need to be able to pick my... I need guts, dude. Guts or fucking auto revive. But then I wasted a fucking Centrum on this shit. Or Azerite Splendor on this shit. Do I have anything? So improved guard... With, ooh, I have an improved guard with guts. Do I have improved dodge with guts? I have improved dodge with auto revive. I'll let you tinker with it. I'll use the bathroom really quick. You're back. Alright. Uh, or do I go improved dodge with quick? Cool down because I don't have quick cool down anywhere else in the build. Oh, I do. And the fact that that's like, there's no way in hell I would dedicate fucking 
three slots in the like why is cascade fucking 20 but quick cooldown is 45 that doesn't even make sense Yeah, no, it's literally, that's, yeah, that's, that's such a diminishing return. No can do buckaroo. Out of your fucking mind. Boy, oh fucking boy. This game and diminishing returns is just something fucking else. Mm. No untouchable plus. Nothing. Nothing good this year.
Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just on the phone real quick. I don't think we would run this because I'll I'll make it so I have permanent stout heart. So probably not this this one. Definitely. Supplementary. Even get invincibility, which is nice. So for sure this one. Maybe this, this one now. Benediction, maybe. That actually wouldn't be too bad. Get the defense, get, get some HP, region. I feel like this one for sure will have to have this one. Uh, this one, yeah, definitely not. This one would be nice to have for the stun damage. Uh, this one also would be kind of nice. It's also AoE. Like I think, I think this just would be so nice to have, like full AoE region with defense. Like attack is irrelevant, but and it's also a heal, so it's a heal and a region. Like, she will feel so fucking tanky, man. It's crazy how tanky she will feel. Nah, but this is too fucking important to have, though. Because this also summons all the pets, so this is actually perfect opening for, like, bursts. Because you use this, so you get the high stun damage with like a lot of link, link bar filled. So you can link um, the boss quick and do your burst and you already get all your free pets so you just need to worry about DPSing, don't have to worry about summoning them. Obviously, CC, always good to have. This should be Ugh. high damage. You good? Yeah, just had to make sure the stuff that I submitted was Gucci.
Oh man. Yeah, I, I'm looking over here, man, and I'm just like, what? What else, man? Like, do I even put on this shit? I think I'm just gonna drop quick charge on them and just use, you know, the skill cancel and shit. Um, just because it's like, yeah, quick charge is nice, man, but. I literally just need more defensive shit. And looking at like quick cooldown, even if like, why the fuck is Cascade maxed out at 20, but you fucking gotta have three quick cooldowns on your build to max it out. And then when you fucking look at it from like one quick cooldown at 10%, even if I put another one to get to like fucking 30, so let's say I had two quick cooldowns on plus the fucking trait level one. So I would be at what, 31? So from fucking 16 to 31, it's only a fuck. I swear to God, dude, it is a, what is that? 3.2% increase, man. It's just that, that is such a fucking slap in the face, man. Yep. Like, why would I even, like, come on, bro. So, like, I understand you know actually no i don't understand i don't understand why <laughs> why the, the the fucking i don't understand why the returns are that fucking diminishing dude like that is a a super feels bad bro i mean that super one feels that bad. one was weird to me as well i don't know why they i i would imagine they would make it equal you know yeah but like it starts at like you know if it goes up by 2% then it's Level 1 is 2%, level 2 is 4, and it just keeps going like that. Instead, it's like, level 1, it's uh, 20%, and then it goes by like half percent every level. And it's like, why? It's very weird choice. I'm not sure what is the reason for that. Because all it does is just, it literally makes you, so you want to run like different traits and never max out those ones. Yeah. There's like very few exceptions where the last level gives you extra thing that you really want. Um, like Flood Attack, for example, that one is done correctly because it gives you fucking nothing at the beginning, but if you max it out, literally the last, like, I think level... What is the max? I think 45 is max for Flood Attack. So, like, I think level 40 gives you, like, 100 attack or something, and then it's, like, 200... There are 400, then like 500, and 1,000. So it's like the last five levels have pretty much all of the attack. And up until that point, like if you just get it to level 39, you're sitting at like less than 100 attack. But then six levels later, you're at 1,000 attack or 2,000. I don't remember anymore. It's like that's, that's weird. I think there was someone uh, like some other some other one that gave you like extra thing um if you max it out oh yeah the i think the potion one right it gives you more potions but on the last level it gives you like additional two revive potions it's like there are certain ones that actually are worth maxing out because they actually give you shit on the last level but most of them are just not worth it. Like, for example, Tyranny. Tyranny... I guess Tyranny is not really worth maxing out, but it's more worth than, like, other skills because yeah. the negative is the same on all levels. So it, yeah, so it logically makes sense to want to max it out so you, you're getting the most, like, benefits out of the negative, right? But... Yeah, but then you look at from like level 16 where we're at to level 50, it's only a 14% attack increase. And yeah. that 14 14% literally does jack shit for you. Like it doesn't help you. Yeah, and you can run stamina anymore. instead and you're getting 51% yeah. attack by just having yeah. one stamina instead of trying to max out tyranny where you know, you're you're wasting another slot and you're only gaining 14%. Like I rather have 59 51%. And it's like it's a big difference, like 51 versus 14. Like, that's like three times amount you're getting. Like, it's not even close at all. And then they're also calculated differently too, like they multiply each other. So that 
on top of that, like it, it makes it even better than maxing out tyranny, for example. So yeah, I, I just I don't know. Like when you look at where it starts, it starts at like five percent, and at level fifteen, it's already thirty-five. So in in fifteen levels, you're getting thirty percent extra, but then in the next fifteen, you're getting fourteen percent extra. Yeah. Make it make sense. <laughs> it doesn't. So it's all like right, super so front loaded we'll on start starting levels. That's that's all it is. Let's do a quick cooldown here. Let's do actually let's do crit stamina there, right? I'll gear out my try. fucking fairy in the meantime. Yeah, so cooldown here. Do I go yeah, I gotta go crit stamina. And that's the thing. I only have one crit rate with stamina, which is just fucking it's, it's bad shit insane to me, dude. Damn, I have like fucking eight <laughs> or something. Yeah, I have one crit rate with stamina and I have one crit rate with tyranny, dude. And I'm just like, oh, Lord. I only so, have two tyranny ages and I need more. I need two more. Crit rate with stamina, tyranny with ages. It's got a stamina with quick cooldown, but I don't need two quick cooldowns. So let me put stun power on this dude. Because I think I could do stun power with drain, yeah. I mean, actually, I could do stun power with fucking... What? Do I have a better crit rate? Crit rate with... Damn, I have multiple... I have three crit rates with dizzy resistance. Yeah, okay, brother. Jesus Christ. I could do crit rate with drain... Um, crit rate with drain, then I could do stun, I could do stun with stamina. I guess no point doing stout heart or uh, steady focus for me because I already have level 10 on right stone. So I can only gain 5 levels and I would go from 15 defense to 20, which... Is just not really worth it for the five percent. So I guess, I guess we're done with that one. So we need steel nerves. Fuck! What did I have steel nerves on? Great right, stamina, tyranny, ages, stun power, stun power. Rain. Actually, no. Do I have stun power? I could do stun power drain, or I could do stun power with potion hoarder, and then I can get rid of my damage cap with potion hoarder and put damage cap with quick revive, or not quick revive, auto revive. Yeah, that's or guts. Do I go guts or auto revive? Probably auto revive. Yeah, so do I then I do stun with Hmm, I probably want cascade and quick cooldown at least one of each. Stun with potion or do I go stun with drain? Actually, I don't even have a stun with drain. Yes, I do. I lied. Uh, potion. I like potion hoarder better, man. I just, it's just better for me. Oh, I have one damage cap with steel nerves. Ooh, I didn't know I have it. That must be a new drop. I think I have skilled assault with steel nerves. Yeah, that's what I have on Normaya. But I don't know if I'm capping on damage on Fairy or not. Well, I can't because I, I yeah I don't even have slots, so I can't do that shit anyway. I'm porting on her. Oh yeah, I get extra damage from this.
We just do the rest of actually I did all of Rackham's masteries and I've done all of Ayo's masteries. I guess I'll Vane is done as well. The only other person I was interested in trying is fucking Catalina, but a part of me is just like, why even fucking bother? But I shouldn't say that because I don't know. Do what build her? Uh, I don't. It's just like I feel like every time I try a new character, dude, it's just kind of like uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe Catalina would be super fun though. It'd probably be more fun than fucking Lancelot. That I can assure myself. Yeah. I mean, she will be. She should be less spammy than him. So. Yeah, I mean, and that Ares in of might be. Yeah, Ares might be super fucking fun. And she also she does also have a fucking freeze skill, and it says area effect widens while Ares is summoned. And maybe there's something there with Ares. Yeah, maybe I'll like Catalina more than fucking, uh, more than Lancelot. Because the more I fucking play Lancelot, I'm just like, like, I played him last night just to, like, have, like, a fast clear when I was doing the slime shit online. And I was just like, man. And then I I used him to fight the Automata God because, you know, I hadn't used him in so long. And I was cooking with them, but I was just like... This is all I do, bro. I just fucking use my skills and fucking, you know, every time the boss moves away, I do my fucking why go back in the mash. Why go back in the mash? Like every time the boss is free, I'm mashing. Yep. Like it's not even a thing about like optimal gameplay. Like there, that is his gameplay. Yep. There's nothing like optimal or not optimal about it. It's like if you're doing damage on Lancelot, you have to do this shit. You don't have a choice. That's why, like, I just, I don't know, I'm just not gonna play him. I was interested because of, like, how fast his shit can go, and, like, yeah, that sounds cool, but... Once I saw his gameplay and tried it myself, I'm like, yeah, nah. This shit is not cool, not at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna pass on that one, Chief. Just does not seem interesting at all. Just a shame, but, you know, at least it's a male character, so I feel not as bad. It is if, definitely a shame. Like, I think I'm going to build him female. just for the sake of building him, because, you know, I already put that much time and effort into him. But he's going to be a character where I'm like, all right, well, let me fight this boss with Lancelot just to see. I don't know. Maybe Catalina would be fun, more fun. Oh, if you do try her out, let me know. Fuck. Yeah, we'll we'll see what's up. She is definitely on my list, and I'm just so I don't overcap on fucking masteries again today. I'm just gonna do what you did, where at least level up everybody's fucking tree, so that can be done. Yeah, I'm fucking sitting on max mastery all the time. It's like, I don't care. Like, what? It has nothing to do with it anyways. I'm like, I don't even feel bad on overcapping. Because what the fuck am I gonna spend it on? Just wasted on rerolls? Like, growling yeah, over I just mastery? hate seeing the max. The max shit come up. That's the only thing that pisses me off. But having that Azurite Splendor is fucking ultra nice, dude. I still have 16 and I've been fucking super loose with it. Yeah, being able to, out, you know, like, being able to put sigils on people and make them usable for the most part, like, just off-rip is 
something that I really want to get to that point, but I can't for the time being. I will be able to, just not at the moment. You literally will need like one night, dude. And after one night and this shit can actually run, you will be like, my life has changed. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I, I just want to... It's a beautiful wanna... thing, man. I woke up and I saw my character still fucking running it. And I'm like, fantastic. It ran actually the whole goddamn night, which is like about seven... I think like seven and a half or eight hours straight. And it was actually fucking working. Uh, so I was happy. But yeah, building other characters, like that's the nicest thing. Because you can immediately put shit on them and max out the fucking sigils. And you can actually... It's maybe not like super min-max build, but it's definitely a already near finish build, you know? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it just feels nice. Is done. I don't know why they. I, the only mod I would put in my game right now is somebody made a mod for unlock all for mastery trees, dude. I put that shit in my game in a heartbeat. Yeah, I just don't I, know why I'm they hoping, wouldn't fucking put one in the game, dude. I, I'm hoping that they will put that shit. That, that one is decent likelihood that it would get added in some uh, update. Future update, yeah. Like, I'm sure Monster Hunter was getting some quality of life updates. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I fucking read left or right about oh. X or Y thing that, you know, was nice quality of life, so... I think the, the unlock everything in the mastery, I think, makes a lot of sense. Because, especially, like, in the into the future, where, like, DLC character drops, you would imagine that most people will just have, like, full 99,000 mastery points. So, like, it would make sense for the button to just get them exist so you can max it out immediately. Plus, you know, they I could definitely see them adding items that will max unlock a mastery tree too. Like some type of ticket or voucher that, you know, automatically clears somebody's mastery or mastery tree. I could just see them adding that. Like that would be cool. Dude Actually quick I'm looking at quick cooldown, dude. Quick cooldown is actually so bad. It's such a weird fucking sigil or trait. Oh, you're looking at like the the level increases. Yeah, because like, look, at level fifteen. So if you have one, you get minus ten percent, right? Yeah. At two, you're at thirty. You're thirteen percent. So you've ju you've just gotten three percent. <laughs> Three fucking percent from getting a second one instead of ten that you get with the and first. Now, but then when you, you go see. to forty-five, it's twenty percent. So first level ten, then you get uh thirteen, so increase by three, and then the third one gives you twenty, which is seven more. So it's like it's so not worth it to have it to have two copies. You either have it at one or you have it at, yeah, three. at three. Yeah. Like two copies feel awful. Like I'm fucking changing I was like, I need to get actually probably drain on this build, so I guess something needs to get dropped. 
I'm looking at quick cooldown. I know what's getting fucking dropped. I'm dropping one of the quick cooldowns. Fuck that shit. Yes, sir. It doesn't. It doesn't instead. make a lick. It doesn't make a lick of sense, dude, at all. It's just weird. Three percent, and then you get seven. That's like over double. Why? Why you get over double from thirty to forty-five? Wow, this shit is fucking... It's super weird to me, dude. It's hella fucking weird. And now it's fucking finished. This shit can still be, like, min-max better, probably. Silver spell book, exceptional refinium. Actually, I don't, I don't think I can do anything more with fairy now that I think about it. Unless I don't want to run fucking cascade and quick cooldown because I kind of don't want to. I don't want to remove any of those secondary stats from damage caps. And if I don't want to remove any of them, then there's no point getting her unique sigil plus damage cap. Yeah, because then you would have to, like, there's no other skills you could run that would roll that shit that would even, like, I guess be beneficial to you at that point. Unless... Unless I don't care about quick cooldown and cascade. And instead I run something like link together with maybe cascade. So then I guess I just lose quick cooldown. Which I probably wouldn't care that much for anyway. So maybe. But that's like, that's arguable. Like I don't know if link together is... More worth than quick cooldown, maybe. Because on Narmaya, like, I mean, I guess Narmaya has kind of identical situation. But eh, I don't know. The cooldowns are just not. They don't feel that long, so I don't know. I still feel like quick cooldown is a bait. 10% just sounds so bad. Like, if you have a minute cooldown, you're getting 6 seconds shorter. I I just feel like that's so fucking bad. So from 60 cooldown, you go to 54 cooldown. Is that really that much of a difference? Eh? I don't even know, dude. I wish they would just actually tell us the cooldowns in the game, but I guess I really just have to get in there with a fucking clock and fucking see if it's worth only because I don't know how much cascade actually gives in my head cascade is just worth more but if I learn the actual numbers I might be like both of them are kind of ass I don't know yeah because remember I maxed out cascade and I showed you I went in there with fucking Lancelot and I couldn't really tell the difference between a max cascade and a max cooldown, but then, you know, you pointed out that it depends on the type of attack. So maybe I wasn't actually getting 2% per hit, I was getting like point something because I was attacking so fast. I mean, you were definitely not getting 2% because if you were, you would like reach 50% within like 2-3 seconds of you out attacking. You would see the like half of the cooldown being gone on your skills it would be too bastard so maybe on slower attackers you would see it a bit better but like even then like i would love to just know how much you're actually saving because i just feel like it's just literally four five seconds or something on skill realistically which is like it's really not that much dude most of the time it will be when boss is moving anyway, so you can't even use that skill regardless. 
It's not like you're sitting on a mannequin that you can come like immediately use the skill the moment it comes off cooldown. That's why I just don't respect the the quick cooldown that much. Because in theory yeah. it sounds cool, but in in reality, not only you're barely saving any seconds, and then on top of it, most of the time you probably won't even be in position to use the skill immediately anyway. So if boss is moving and your skill is ready, but you cannot use it right now, and you have to wait like 5-6 seconds for the boss to stop moving and then you can use it, then you've literally just... was like You, you would be in the exact same situation if you didn't have any quick cooldown. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of my issue with quick cooldown and, and cascade. I opened my curios and I got dog shit. Welcome to the club, dude. Man. I wonder how bad it shit. is with two sub damages instead of fucking three. Probably just not even worth running. Uh, I mean, it's still worth running. It's just like... This is the best way you can increase damage. Like That's just yeah. how I feel. Because and you're I mean, guaranteeing that... Also the fact that it stacks with the buff too man because like now i have to fucking have it so i can get 40 percent instead of 20 percent i wish there was a sigil that fucking increased buff duration man why is it that not in the game that is a good question i would question. definitely run that that actually would be kind of cool to extend like buff duration like that Honestly, I would take that shit in a heartbeat over a quick cooldown or yeah. cascade. 100%. Now Boy, I need see to... if on, please, brother. Save me from this curse, man. Yeah, I loaded Rosetta. Play with her, but Fairy is ready to go, so at some point I'll just swap to Fairy. See how my girl is doing. I already like Fairy skills though. I see the logical. Um, rotation, I guess, of skills and 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 playstyle. I just need to like see her tips and stuff. Like if I'm missing anything extra. Like she opens up with a high stun skill, which is great. And it summons all of her pets, so you can immediately then buff yourself with like full damage and stuff. Um, yeah, I just it, like everything just works so well with her. I don't know. I, I feel like Fairy might be actually my secondary character. I just need to play her and see if I like the the gameplay. But right now, in theory, with like skills and stuff, it, she looks very promising to me. Can't even finish my buff. Oh yeah, we are fucking way thank you now. Give them my peeps some fucking reason going.
Oh my god, I didn't see the fucking... Uh, because my rose is kind of obstructed the vision here. Jesus Christ. I definitely would like to drain on. I think drain would definitely help along with regen. I was drained with, with my roses. I have 3k region on everyone. So, all of you minions be grateful for my region. And I, I wish there was a fucking DPS meter. That would be something I would be very interested in. The only thing there is that parser that everybody yeah. downloaded that the dude told you he wouldn't maintain. But since it was open source, I think some people took it and said that they would do their own thing with it. Because I know some people are using some type of DPS meter. Because I saw them posting it in the Percival channel. Oh, that Cagliostro looks interesting. It's pretty different. Yeah, it's just like, I would love to have it for someone like Rosetta because I wanted to see like how she actually does in comparison to other uh, characters. It's like, yeah, I can get the MVP, but like, it doesn't really m mean much, you know? For all I know, I got, I've got i gotten it because I just like, you know, healed and gave buffs and shit. I would like to know if her DPS is actually decent or not. It's like, I guess I could do that on maybe yeah. fucking dummy, but that's not the same. Like boss moves and shit, so it's not really a good test. Supplementary damage five pluses, brother. Honestly, I feel like most of them are probably coming from the mods. Hold on one second, dude.
There's a fucking ghost. Interesting. Jesus, that ranch is actually fucking good. Probably does more damage, but probably doesn't matter. Holy fuck, dude. Okay, there's there's definitely way more to her than I thought. What the hell?
Man, I just... I don't know, man. You don't know what? This, I, I was literally just downstairs while I was doing like dishes and I'm just like, I fucking hate sub five, man. <laughs> because I'm just thinking about it. The only reason I have as much defensive shit on my fucking um, Siegfried is because I only had one sub five. And now that I have three, I'm not going to be able to have all of the fucking, you know, the the, I can't have fucking regen and drain and quick cool down and cascade and guts and auto revive and improve. Like, I can't have all of that shit. The shit that made my sick for you fun. Like, I could say fucks up cool down, but then I'm, I'm missing out on like 40k on each of my fucking perfect executions. So instead of 203, it'd be like 245 or something. And that is considerable damage loss. Yep. So it's just like, bro, what do you want from me? I mean, all I can tell you, dude, is uh, the. I don't know. You, you you could probably drop like cooldown stuff, but that's pretty much it. Like that's the only shit you can really like move. I mean, you just want too much, like yeah, nice that's, that's nice things, and. Like, yeah, I don't know, like, Auto Revive. Auto Revive to me is kind of like, eh. Because the the fucking, that shit is so long, man. It takes so fucking long to lift you up. It's it actually, does, like, dude, infinitely faster play... to do with Potion or even Guts. Yeah, I mean, but... Guts doesn't even fucking down you, right? So you can actually, like, yeah. immediately play. The, the problem that I've, like, come across, at least with Guts even though I would like both of them, is that if there's a multi-hitting attack that puts my health that low, then I'm going to go down immediately. So it's like, I, in that situation, which has happened quite a few times, I'd rather not even have guts, because I still went down immediately. Like, if I was quick to react, and I healed after I got to that one threshold, I would have been fine. But I've gotten hit by, like, a double hitting laser more than five to six times before and that shit immediately just put me on the ground i'm just i don't know dude well i can say that you could try just running fucking uh i feel like potion probably is the the only good one there i'd like really just guts and auto revive are just bad like to be honest because if you think about it, potion shit, if you have just one potion, you get three revives per combat. On top of which, yeah. you're also getting blue potions, which are good for either healing teammates or like doing the quick link stuff. So there's like, and you only need one to have it maxed. That is pretty incredible value. Out revive and guts, like you said, guts, if you get a hit twice, you get down anyway. And it's on long cooldown, unless you're investing more than one, but, like... That, that would be a super duper waste. Yeah, like, I... The lowest it can go is, like, what, two minutes? There's not that yeah. many fights that we do for more than two minutes, to be honest. Like, there are some, like, Shadow, maybe, bosses. If we have, like, not great team, like, yeah, it can probably take, like, three, four minutes. It's, like, the maximum you'll get is, like, two uses out of it. And But realistically... You're probably not going down within the first like 60 seconds or something. So most likely you only get one use out of it from both cuts and from auto revive. But with potion shit, well, you have free revives. I feel like free revives is plenty for any of the fights. That's why I went away from guts and auto revive and I hopped onto train of uh, fucking Ocean steel order. nerves and. I don't even use Potion Hoarder either, but I mean, you can definitely use it. I think it's good, but I'd rather have yeah. Steel Nerves and fucking Steady Focus and Stout Heart. Like, those three together offer so much, like, fucking defense that you, I don't think anything really one-shots me anymore. So you can actually heal with your potions. Like, if you could just squeeze in Potion Master on top of that, like, you would feel really tanky. Yeah. 
Like, that's what I'm running on my ferry, and that's what I'm running on no my Normaya, and as you know, like, I've... I almost never go down in any of the fights we do. It definitely changes a lot. Um, and I still do my damage, which is really nice. And that, that is why, like, again, I have less respect for quick cooldown and cascade, because... Fuck, I'd rather not be one-shot, you know? I think that's more valuable than... And I still get the nice side effect of like I'm never going to be uh, put down on the ground because I have stout heart all the time which is a, yeah. a nice extra thing on top of it because normally I probably wouldn't run it just because it's you know it's nice to have but because it's tied to my defenses I'm forced to run it but I'm not gonna complain because I like the effect so No, no, that's at least how I feel. I like just getting defense shit. And if you don't want to invest that many things, like fuck it, just put stronghold. I like just having stronghold by itself is already good enough. Get like 30% or so defense. No, 20 something, I think. It should prevent one shots. And then like get fucking right stone with drain so you don't have to worry about giving getting drain on, on your uh, build either. Yeah. And then you're good, like honestly. That's as good as it gets. Like honestly, you could probably get steady focus. Steady focus seven on your right stone and then drain five. Then you don't even have to probably run steady focus on your sigils. You can run potion instead. Then you just need steel nerves as a secondary somewhere and a stout heart somewhere. Well, as a main sigil because it's a special one, so you can only have it by itself. But well, I'll be damned, dude. The lore in this game is just too fucking interesting, bro. Like, some part of me is just like, fuck. I just want to play the mobile game for the fucking story at this point. Because that's the only place you're going to get the fucking story. Yeah, I just learned that Fairy is actually a ghost. Yeah, and I just learned that Cosmos is fucking... Remember the, the, the girl I showed you with yeah. the blue and red eye? Fucking, um, the surrogate for Cosmos is literally Zoe and another fucking dude named Geo. Boy, this lore is something else, dude. The only reason I know that is here. This, uh, I, I'm only putting one song on because I don't feel like grabbing all of them, but that song is like seven minutes, so you could just fucking run that one. And go back. Oh, it auto played anyway. <laughs> if you want to look at the video, you can, because you know fucking. I just feel like fucking Zoe is so cool. She is cool, dude. All the dragons and stuff. And th this guy who edits these videos like this, I, I, sh I you know, I, I like that. That he actually edits the videos like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking Jenna got... is playing Wolverine Waves now. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was asking yesterday, like, oh uh, yeah, fucking, he's in the beta. I don't know, this shit has fucking beta now. I applied and I don't think I got in. I don't even want to be in the beta, don't care. I'll play the game when it releases to try it out, but I don't know. 
Honestly, it's it, the decent way I, chance I'm not gonna like it. We we had this talk before, dude, and literally everything that I want from all of those gotcha games that look like that, I'm getting out of Grand Blue, dude. Yeah, I mean because it's it's literally cool... all I fucking wanted. Like the only thing that would be cooler is if Grand Blue Relink had open world like Genshin or yeah, basically open world like Genshin. But we kept yeah. the combat and movement and all of that shit from Relink because it's infinitely fucking better. So if it basically just had like big open shit where you can just go around, collect materials and like kill bosses and mobs in the field and stuff, that if, would be the only thing I want. If they copy the formula from um, Monster Hunter World, then we will get something like that in the future. Because I forgot what it's called in Monster Hunter World, but there is this big open area with like a whole bunch of bosses. And that's basically where you farm a lot of the end game shit. Like it's a huge fucking area. Like most of the maps in Monster Hunter are big as fuck, right? But that area oh, is Oh, so it's not just shit. like normal map. It's like some special shit on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's a special big ass fucking map where you can encounter like any boss and special versions of bosses as well and they drop like certain fucking materials for you to crab certain like end game shit mm. is that in world yeah it's in world i forgot what it's called let me um let me ask my buddy huh, i didn't know that even exists but, like the maps themselves are pretty big i mean there's a lot of like verticality to all of them That's cool, though. That's cool. The Guiding Lands. That's what they're called. Yeah. Here, I'll fucking... I'll send you the shit. The Guiding Lands is a complex ecosystem consisting of multiple regions that affect each other. Go on expeditions in the Guiding Lands to find out more about the monsters and characteristics of each region. Only Master Rank is available in the Guiding Lands. The Guiding Lands, right? Makes more sense. So I was saying it's like probably like multiple maps kind of s stitched together. Yeah. That's the multiple regions stitched together into like one big region and you can fight any and all bosses possible in each of those reasons. Man, that in, sounds uh, actually fucking cool as fuck. Yeah, it literally is all the six fucking areas together. Wow. So imagine if they had an area like that in fucking Relink where we could fight, we can run into any of the bosses like as just exploring like we run through we kill mobs and shit like that and we could run into the skeleton or the ice skeleton or the dark skeleton or any of the dragons or you know i think it would probably be more monsters i don't think we'd just be able to run into the human enemies but they could do something like that for the human enemies as well but i if they added something like that like because guiding lance is like super towards the end of world's life um but if they add something like that to Relink, it'd be sick, man. I have a feeling that uh, the new Monster Hunter might be actually like that. Was it wild? Yeah, I'm, I'm or whatever? yeah it's wild. So I'm definitely going to be buying that shit on launch. Because it'll be the first Monster Hunter game I can play from the beginning. Like since I, I didn't I, I play. feel like there's a decent chance that... It, like, from trailers and stuff, it looked like there was a lot of monsters... And it was like very open, um, but it's kind of hard to say if this was just, you know, just for the video or is that what they're planning on, on doing? Because like to me, this shit uh, in Worlds, the Guiding Lens, that sounds like something they, they had an idea of doing it. They put it in to experiment and see how people react. And now that they saw people being fucking, you know okay with it and liking it they're like okay well we can definitely implement it into new game that's how i feel 
It would be nice too, that's for sure. But dude, I'm actually liking Fairy a lot. There's there's a little more complexity to Fairy than I first thought. Because you can like hold her X button and she actually does this like fucking like small charge shit. Which does more damage and summons a pet. Because before I thought you have to kind of like do your auto combo. Invincibility actually lasts a decent amount of time, dude. Maybe like five seconds or some shit. It was better if I just look at my fucking email on my phone since I can put all my inboxes. I definitely didn't get into the fucking beta. It's fine, dude. We have fucking relink. Yep, I have a better game anyway to enjoy. I don't think there's any gacha game I'm interested in to like be in beta. Yeah, I mean, I would try it, but then it's just like, the more I think about it, it's just like, at the end of the day, who fucking cares, man? Because all of the cool characters they're going to add to that game, I'm going to have to fucking spend money to get, get multiple copies of, probably to make them busted, um, multiple fucking purchases and shit like that. And then the the literally you you know as long as you know me you you know that like I always wanted co op content in like every gacha game we play, and this game has the literal the literal formula of co op content that I like in games. Holy shit! You seeing this? I'm looking at your I'm looking at the handling right now. What the fuck? So what is that one drain? Yeah. Nice. What the fuck? Bro, this shit same thing. I knew it dude. I just killed 11k in like 4 or 5 seconds of casting. What about this? Yep, also every single hit. Bro, that is fucking naughty. What the hell? Bro, this is actually like super fucking worth it. What? Do I have more drains? I wanna see if like... If more drains makes it better for her. I only have one shit, more. I definitely don't want to fucking hear this fucking parrot. <laughs> Why not, dude? Yeah. I was maxed out on vouchers, so I gotta fucking spend them. I'm at 57 transmarbles. I just wanna 
be able to like save every chance Marvel I get. I have anything with fucking drain max. Por favor. No, senor. Now surely I have drained some. Uh, was it support or special? I think it was support, right? felt infinitely better now holy HP Wrightstone, I think it's just worthless in its entirety, dude. Yep. Like, I don't think I will ever run. I think you can HP. run any of them, to be honest, other than crit rate. I really don't see a point. Yeah. Like her X is about the same. But I feel like her Y definitely it feels different, man. On two drains it feels different. Yeah, like 35k HP. Yeah, definitely 29k. So definitely way more healing done on two drains. So she might be actually one of the rare characters where drain is actually useful. Like having two of them. I don't know if three. I think three might be overkill. I think she probably caps out at that point.
Yeah, for the eight, I think that was about the same. Huh. Okay. That's super fucking interesting. So I guess, like, characters with multi hits are pretty worth it to have drain on. Because even her skill can heal multiple times. Yeah, fuck quick cooldown, bro. We're on this double drain uh, train right now. So there's no min-maxing really to be done. Unless I didn't want Cascade. I could have like Steel Nerfs plus something. Or something plus Steel Nerfs I guess. So I could have maybe Link Together plus Steel Nerfs. Yeah, probably. Interesting. Okay. That was a good find though. Glad I did that. Um yeah. On the other hand, Rose feels like a fucking waste. Right, I probably shouldn't have two quick cooldowns on her either. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do the train. Maybe it's not that bad. Let me fucking quick. Real quick. Yeah, as you can see, plants don't heal me at all. Yeah. I autos do. What about this? Yeah. That's like decent. What about two? Now I wonder like if it works well on on Narmaya, if I have like the butterflies. Nah, it feels the same. The healing felt exactly the same. Yeah, so running multiple drains on rows doesn't make sense. What 
about Normaya quickly. I even have train on her? I do. <laughs> yeah, that last hit definitely heals for all the butterflies. My problem is that I'm pretty sure this doesn't matter. We're at level 37 now. Let's see. Does that feel any any different at all? No auto attack wise. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, that shit didn't feel different, but auto attacks felt way different, no? Thirteen K. Kokoa, what is in Makasa? Kagura. Uh, almost 17k, okay. Okay, definitely not worth it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay, what? <laughs> 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 Huh. 
Interesting. I feel like... I feel like Drain works with Supplementary. I feel like Supplementary damage... Gives you additional proc of Drain. That is actually really interesting. So it might be actually worth running drain, like actual like one sigil of drain. Well, on some characters. On Narmaya I think it actually makes sense. Because the healing feels better. Oh. Okay, that was cool. That was cool discovery. Yeah, that was cool discovery. You ready did your builds? Uh I mean there there's not much to do because I need more silvers. I'm just uh clearing the rest of my vouchers real quick. That's what I've been doing. Like I, I'm trying not to actually I think yeah, I I'm going with a different uh like a little change up on Percival where I give him more sun power and shit. Just to see if, like, maybe I can do a full stun over this. I don't know. Stun power feels like it's definitely really worth it to have. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Usually when Depending I play on the online, character. I feel like it's just... You just have enough allies... That, like, all you need really is just a skill with high stun. I don't think, like, stun as a stat matters that much. Yeah, uh, I definitely felt that shit last night. Um, when I was playing against Automata, because I was using Lancelot. It was Lancelot, it was Catalina, it was Zeta, and it was somebody else. And boy, we did not have any fucking stun. Yeah. There were so many fucking times where we I'd just missed out. Literally one character with one, like any of them, with just one character that has a skill that does stun damage, and then you're hitting the the stun stuff like every single time. So like I feel like the stun stuff probably only matters if you actually run like four DPS that don't have any stun skill on top of it, which it's like, it is very unlikely scenario. Like offline, obviously you can control that. So there you, you can like just use one of the bots to be, to have like a stun skill online. I mean, you know, we run into veins, uh, fairies, uh, I don't know who else is fucking stun skills, but there's like quite a few characters and we, we like run reliably into at least one that has it. Uh, 
But Drain is interesting. I guess you kind of have to test it on each character. Because on Fairy, like having uh, two Drains is actually... That actually feels like infinitely better than having just one. Or having right stone, like just like level five. Not bad. We did forty percent. Now he's gonna go into the fucking thing. I guess if you go down, you lose my buff. So it's not like permanent, but it's almost permanent. Okay, you wonder, that's fine. So I hate the fact that I don't have stout heart. Yeah. Maybe if I can get the unique sigils with damage cap, if I can figure out a way to put that shit in my build too. Cause that shit is just, I hate getting interrupted. Oh my skills. Did it. I'm sitting here watching this motherfucker excellent play Weather and Waves and all these people in the chat are just like fiending over it and I'm just like damn I bet none of you motherfuckers are on Relink man. Over what? Uh, I'm watching the, the one guy who's like pretty prominent uh, content creator for PGR play Weather and Waves and I'm just looking at all the people in this chat like fucking oh this game looks so good blah 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 and i'm just like i bet none of you motherfuckers are on relink man i don't know wolverine waves to me didn't look that great it looked better than genshin but i don't know
And in a way, look better. Do you want to farm this motherfucker? Or were you no. just doing it one time? Just one time. Okay. Okay. Just one time. Not a bad party, but... I just need exceptional Rufinium, man, so I can get Lancelot's weapon. Finish the shit. Did I get any oh, coins? No, time to so fucking no, do the... Coins. AFK fucking assault formation. That's what you should be doing. I didn't you run assault formation like at all? No, you got off. No, I did slime. No. Yeah, in your downtime, you probably should fucking just do like full auto and. And just like while watching, just fucking move your character on the platform and just fucking leave it there. Yeah. At the very least. And just do that for like an hour or two and you'll get a decent amount of uh, Ruthenium. Well, you have to exchange the, the coins. Just make sure you're not maxed out on coins because it goes quick. Yeah. Probably like eight runs or something, and you're maxed on coins. Which is like what, 30 something Ruthenium, I think? So. Yeah, if you need Ruthenium, that, that's the. That's the shit you should be doing. There's not even point automating it, because like eight runs, you're maxed on coins. I was like, maybe I should automate, but it literally doesn't fucking. It doesn't do anything. No, I have, I have everything other than than fucking mecha. Uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna need that shit for everybody, so it can't hurt. I can yeah. we can go, but fucking, I hate doing this fight because we get almost always dog shit parties, and it's just like this fight annoys me, man. I mean, you have a Rackham and you have a Narmaya. So if you want to do offline, we could try an offline run and see. True. That is true. I wonder what bots do on signals, though. I think they'll they only attack. Or? They'll only attack the ones that you attack, probably. Hmm. Uh. The only thing I can say is like, um, I think I, I just enjoyed the combat from at least what it looked like more in Wuthering Waves. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, if it's anything like PGR, we both like PGR combat. So it's like, that's the only reason why the shit even had appeal in the first place. PGR combat with open world exploration and hopefully... Yeah. You know, you don't need fucking multiple copies of a character in PGR, so hopefully it's the same thing in this fucking game. But I won't hold my fucking breath because uh, it doesn't matter how good a company is, everybody succumbs to greed at some point in time. And maybe they they become greedy with Wuthering Waves. I'm expecting it. Like, yeah, you can say, oh, but PGR was pretty friendly. Yeah, it was, but this is not PGR. This is, like, PGR. a big game now that's open world. They're gonna try to fucking milk it. Like, I'm pretty certain of it, so. But to me, like, the betas, they're pointless because... The only thing I care about is, like, how polished and, like, how good will the combat feel. And that I can't really get in beta. Like, to me, the only point would be just trying when the game actually does come out finally. Because then I can, okay, this is finished combat now. Is it good? If it doesn't feel good, then, well, I'm out. I mean, I'll probably still play, probably, for like a week and then drop it or some shit. Yep, so the banner for my fucking, the green guy and his weapon.
characters looked okay, but I think like there was more uh, like the, there was decent amount good looking characters in Genshin. Like I don't know if Wuthering Waves have different or better rather design than Genshin. I would have to look at the rosters and only yeah, compare yeah. like starting rosters for both games. Hard to say. But if yeah, I remember like... correctly, there was not that many like good looking waifus in the first beta. At least the shit that Vincent was showing me. There's barely any characters I liked and shit that looked good was usually like 4 star or some shit. Plus he said the game overall didn't feel good at all. But that's like, that's again like something that hard to sell to, to, to tell right now because it's just too fucking early like the game is not finished that's why yeah that part of the game i can't really like test or fucking you know commit to but the combat at least looked better and if it is actually polished and feels good then it should be better than genshin's combat All resonance. The mini games look more fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, I'm looking at the fucking the uh I'm looking at the shit right now. Unless that's not where you get multiple copies of the fucking weapon, but somehow I have a feeling it is. I don't know. It's just I literally would just play fucking Grand Blue, dude. Yeah, man, I. <sighs> I feel like I will fucking need the stout heart in this bitch, actually. It's so fucking annoying. Getting interrupted when you're doing shit. Yeah, but like, it feels extremely bad on Rosetta. Because my, like, big damaging skill is, uh, stay in one place and do AoE, and it's like, yeah, it, it just gets fucking interrupted constantly. Oh, he didn't even summon shit this time. That's the first time I've ever seen that. It's because of the paralysis. Instead of having CC, man. <laughs> Wait, so we broke him and he still fucking, like, has the elemental Yeah, we would have We would have had to do it before. Actually, we can leave um, it, I think. Yeah. Like, two cubes. I actually wonder if he gets anything, if there are two cubes. I wonder maybe his he does more damage if he has two. I just made sure to leave the red up because I had a party that was farming this shit and I kept telling them, please just leave red up. They're doing every fucking color but red and they're wondering why they're getting fucking cooked. 
the entire time. Oh, there were only two red left, so... Yeah. Would have been red That's either uh, way. Just wonder, like, if it changes and Why did it go on me? Fuck you. Yeah, this this party is definitely good. A rare good get party. I'm missing my fucking shit. Alright, we broke him. Can we just kill him here? Crazy how good DPS go is if you can just hold the goddamn boss down. Yeah. Nice, and it's just now DPS mechanic. Yep. That was one of the cleanest Piet kills we ever had. Yeah, for sure. Like the only other comparable runs we had was like when Cruz was still playing and hanging out. The one time and he was playing with us with his Rakam. I wouldn't mind running this shit again with this party. Yeah, if they want to stay, I'll stay. Even though I probably don't need more than like one more, I... I feel like better to farm this shit a few times while it lasts. Yeah, because I need to do this shit per two fucking... at least two characters. Yep. Uh, everyone is on the same page here. Yeah, don't you need three per character? Uh, cells, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. These are literally the most annoying ones to get because they're not consistent. So far, I wasn't missing them. So far, like, the only shit I usually miss is the fucking, uh, what it's called. The... Uh, lunar, uh, not lunar cell, the mana boards or whatever. The shit that you need like a lot of. I mean, yeah, they're, they're both running it. I'm pretty sure they're fucking duo. They're running two CC and they're actually running the CC on those characters and using it. Yeah. Which is fucking rare as hell. I Yeah, leave two reds this time. Does do anything? Let's see. Anything at all, or is this literally going to be the same shit? Yeah, looks like the same exact shit. Okay, well. Then definitely worth just. Because, like, the thing is. Okay, I think the 
Are the waves a little different? Or not the waves, the lines he's doing? Are they a little yeah, different? Yeah, I think, I think they're going, like, they're reversing. Like, he's going in one way and then reversing in the other. Interesting. I still think it's worth leaving them because then it takes him longer to do the transition. Yeah. Because like he, if you kill the orbs or signals, he immediately transforms. But if you leave it and let it let it time out, then he will not. Uh, like he won't do it immediately. Yeah. It have, like it will wait until it like times out. It gives us more time for DPS. Ah, we still didn't have the fucking public drive. Fucked up. And it probably doesn't matter. Ah, uh, I tried to get out of my buff. Oh no, it's good actually. <laughs> Probably can kill it. Yep. Actually worked. Hey, got a silver centrum. Same. Yeah, and the party I had last night, we were destroying all the parts too, so this is a chance to get another Lunary Cell from that as well. It's hard for me to even tell which parts you can destroy and which you can. It's like I just DPS the boss and then, you know. Yeah. I well, you can destroy his legs. I think you can destroy a part of his tail. I just DPS him and then I get information that part was broken. It's like, yeah. Okay. So she's using ice attack. On the IO. Oh, I fucked up. 
I would have had fucking. I got out of uh, some street. Game has so much potential, man. I literally think this is the best fight in the game. This is the best fight in the game. Well, best fight mechanics wise, because the final boss is just a fucking pushover, man. Like, if he was the final boss, I would. Have yeah, mechanically, like probably will be the most, like, mechanically advanced out of all of them. Though I feel like most, like, proud bosses have, like, so many mechanics, you just don't see them. Yeah. Very often, but, like, they actually do have decent amount of mechanics. And I do agree that, like, Prado Bahamut was, like, eh. And mostly because it's, it's just, like, you know... You get to do damage. DPS back. Yeah, like you're not seeing it. Like the only reason we suffer is because we don't have, like, you know. We he rarely attacks. Bad parties. Yeah. Like most of his stuff is like very, you know, gimmicky. All like kill turrets or oh, kill fucking um, balls with cannons. Oh, kill pillars. While he sometimes will attack, maybe. It's like eh. this boss like can constantly attack. Yeah, and he's he does with you. Often. Yeah. Do you have paralysis? No paralysis. But he will do the wipe mechanic. And I didn't have a good get party in a while. And this is the ideal party for Rose too. I just like realized that she's actually really good if you run party that can CC boss. Like every character obviously, um, you know, is better if you can CC the boss. But I feel like Rose exponentially is better. Because most of her damage are plants, and if you can just keep the boss in one place, then she can actually pump nice damage. I would just love to see the numbers on those runs, for example. Like, how how did I do compared to Io or Lancelot or you? I mean, if you want to put on the parser, dude, we can, but... I don't know I if think. it even works, dude, because it's different version. Uh, uh, if you check, I, I assume that it still works. I just wish somebody would take it, make it better, and actually maintain it. Like, I wish I was good at coding. Oh, <laughs> 
Interesting, I just noticed, dude. It's a small touch, but I actually cannot fucking poison yet. Oh, wow. Uh. Which makes sense because he's mechanical, but not what I expected. Yeah, well, I feel like if not, I feel like you should be able to because you can freeze him. I could but burn like freezing, him. But freezing mechanical boss makes sense, right? That is true. But poisoning, there's like no like organic matter. Yeah, because if you read his sense. info, it says you know like he's all mechanical cells and shit like that. Let me see. Maybe I just missed it. Let me try again. No, it, it just doesn't poison. That is very interesting, dude. You see my optimal gameplay, dude? Yep. Charge attacks. <laughs> Just fucking... You changed, man. Oh no, this fucker is fucking... Left the light on. Uh. Oh no. Oh, I still get paralysis even if I block it, by the way. I wish I could still. I wish I could turn these cutscenes off, dude. After I saw them for the first time or something. Cause boy, this shit is yep. bad. The entry animation, the fucking the ring fight animations, all of them are fucking just annoying. That I could charge pretty through that. She used the fucking lightning skill. Why? You cannot fucking stun him here. Paralysis him right now. And they just had to leave the goddamn yellow fucking signal. On this boss. Let's see if I can push him back. My plans. Oh. It teleports me in front of the boss anyway. Even though I went behind him. So this Io is using what? Fireball? Lightning? Ice? Oh, I fucked up. I guess it doesn't matter, we kill him anyway. Um, so she's using ice attack, fireball, lightning, and probably the star shooter. Okay. Wait, so she's not using any buffs, really? No, she uses one buff. She's not using star shooter, what? That's, that can't be right, is it? Gonna check it next. Yeah, the. Oh no, wait. This yeah, she one. just. She... 
Oh no, this circle is actually from a charge attack, so maybe she's not using the fucking buff. Which, like, max charges her stuff. Yeah, That's interesting. Got I got fucking 9.7. So that was close. Uru Gaya Kaeda. Oh, that, that guy is actually Japanese. The Lancelot. Oh, you look at his profile name? Yeah. I know it's like during fight, but let me fucking... Let me check this bitch. Ice, fire, lightning, and then... Yeah, and flowery seven, so she's using the fucking... The orb shit. Huh. Can you take a screenshot of the build? Since I can't look right now. For her? Yeah. Well, it should be in the VOD, I think. Okay. Oh, this shit actually fucking grows. Did I stop him? Fuck. I want to stop him from doing that. Okay, she has free supplementary five pluses, by the way, so... Oh, well, that's, that's good to know, brother. That's nice. <laughs> no wonder I'm getting fucking out DPS. Well, I mean, I guess it really technically wouldn't matter, unless whatever they had on their shit. But that's the... I literally wish, like I said, dude, I wish that that Reddit post never came out and we never knew this sub five pluses actually existed and they were just like uber fucking rare because as soon as we found out that they existed everybody and their mom fucking has a sub five plus now and now it's just on oh, a couple of days or two days of grinding you'll get it like yeah fucking right dude i mean it wouldn't matter anyway because the mods exist and so like this yeah. this shit like it, it would have been out anyway so, doesn't matter. It doesn't surprise me, a Chinese player using hacks? No way. I didn't even have it, and I didn't have it because uh, I was checking profiles. <laughs> yeah, all oh, Gucci, brother. What about this Percival? Or not Percival, uh, Lancelot. Okay, two normal sub fives. Okay, this man is not cheating. A quick cheat check. I'm at the start chesting every or checking everybody's shit. Yeah, it's just like it's just it is what it is, man. Like that's just gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. Because like mods are there, like it, literally the mods themselves are are enough. Why are you using your lightning while he? It, dude, it's second time, dude. Last round she did the same thing. I, mean, I was asking the same goddamn question. Why? Yeah. 
That's so we can fucking break it quicker. Can get rid of the overdrive? Probably not. Yeah. Firefly into Firefly. Am I actually my plants? I'll kill killing those turrets pretty easily. Well, not anymore. <laughs> they were. Let's check what what damage five she can I even? Uh if you go to trait details maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through fucking stats. Yeah, I cannot check it now in the fucking treasury. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, that's the best fucking moment to check it, like, and you can. That's yeah, there's some shit. There's some shit I definitely want them to check or like fix, man. Not even fix, just Q oil, quality of life shit. You can check it during the boss animation, though. It yeah. does like transition changes and shit. <laughs> Let's see, did I cost this party because of that? No. <laughs> Cannot do it at the beginning of the game now. Nope. Well, I mean, you can technically because he always locks on to me to the right. So if you go to the left, you should be fine. You can only view traits. Thank you, Narmaya player too. Why are you destroying the fire shit? Why are you destroying the fire shit? Because he's dumb. Oh my god. It's the second time we're getting lightning. And I think you just like because I'm terrible at killing those signals, you just have to go and kill the blue and light immediately when this phase begins. Uh, so that's those fucks don't doing. destroy it. Yeah, but I stopped because I was like, all right, at least I can get DPS because they weren't touching it before, but I guess they weren't touching it because they literally couldn't. You just like, brother, please. I'm fucking like I would do it myself, but I'm terrible at destroying them. I need my plants and 
<laughs> I would have to replant them every time I go to new signal. Like this boss fight is pretty terrible for for Rose. There's like so many fucking bad things for her here. But the shield dodging fucking is kind of cool. I actually need to read tips for Rose. I maybe I'm missing something cool you can do with her. I don't think I ever yeah. read her tips. Or maybe I did and I don't remember. Possible. Oh, that was a good run. Yeah. It was like just perfect layers of CC constantly, like everything was just layered perfectly. Kind of hard to beat that. What, two and a half minutes? Yeah, that was a really fucking good run. Mine is doing the lightning shit. Just fucking leave those goddamn red orbs. Stop <laughs> Stop killing red orbs, like, I don't know why people have a fetish to leave the yellow or blue. It's fucking giga cringe. I okay, got seven lunary cells, but I gotta use two of them right now. Oh, I don't have anything from here. Alright, I literally don't care about blithering waves anymore, so I'm just... You know. But I don't know if it's good to use the the red one, the red skill on on IO. Because it lowers defense, that's not useful. But the skill might be doing a lot of damage, so I don't know. It seems pretty low cooldown though, so I don't know, maybe it is worth it. Yeah, if I had enough, if my sun skills off cooldown, would have been able to break him again. This time they didn't even move at all for the signals. Fucking weird. Oh, 
Ah, she yeah, used lightning and he resisted. Just like half nice. second too late. Yeah. Alright, so I can at least see what they're running on the build. The only cool thing is I can plant my uh, roses during a mechanic like this and they will keep damaging the boss. Yeah, that's actually really good. They don't do much damage because like, you know, boss has like damage reduction during that. So each auto attack does only 10k from plant, but still, I mean, or is it 1000? Maybe it was 1000? Break and he dies. Peter. I would love to see what they have it though on those supplementary fives. Um, I went through. Uh, I went through his build. Like, I'm sorry, dude, but, like, I played, like, well, 250 hours of this game. If I don't have a single supplementary five and you have three, I mean, I don't know what to say at that point. There's, there's nothing to say. All right, that's it. Okay, I guess they're done. That's fine, and I got... They are duo, definitely, by the looks of it, then. We, we yeah. got some good runs though, so I'm happy. Wow, surprisingly I enough, to... I only have three... Wait, what? Wow, I, I guess we only got two... Or I got only two Lunary Cells out of all those runs. Wild. Yeah, comparing it to like, I definitely got more last night in terms of like getting lucky with like destroying all the parts. And when I destroyed all the parts, like, you know, four times out of five, I would get a lunar drop when I destroyed all the parts. So I have seven right now. I had three. So I have four off of what we just did. I had one, I have three. So I only got two. Gotcha. And I had like zero mana circuits, now I have 29. But, bro. 
Did we really not run like the boss that much? Because it feels like we should be way higher. Lunar cell drop rates for me are super fucking low, so I don't, I don't really know. Lunar detectors, I have twenty. Chrono score twenty five. Like other materials, protocol fiber seventy two. Other shit, I have a fuck ton. It's always mana cir circuits and lunary cells. I guess it's yeah, time to sell some merits to too. I'm getting fucking constantly capped on on, on those legendary merits. Wait, I got 956 right now. I have 999 and I had them for a while. And while you do that, I'm gonna keep trying to build up my trans marvels. Basically, same. I'm just. I was getting a unique set to a damage cap. It wasn't as annoying. They did. Yeah, I would like to have every character I use to be min max, and I definitely want to min max Seafon, but I don't even know. I'm not thinking too much about DLC because, for all we know, there's something planned already with like new characters. Getting released. Yeah. Plus, who knows? Maybe they won't need it. It's like my fairy, for example. I don't think I need it on fairy, to be honest. I don't think it improves anything. Like how the vitality right zone is crit and fucking the HP one is fucking fortification. Yep. I don't know why it's called fucking vitality. Uh, you would think fortification would be something defensive. Yeah, that sounds like defense, flat defense or defense percent. Vitality yeah. like HP. Only weakness one fits. Yeah. The other one I don't remember. I don't remember the name for the stun one. I mean, I, I guess even for weak points, sequestration. Yeah, I don't. I would have to look up what that word means, and I typically know what shit means. Like that sounds like se sequence, but I don't think that's that. Oh, I also got a damage cap with still nerves, but mine was five plus. I was only four plus. Ah, there's a fuck ton of tickets for me to still liquidate. Yep. Because I didn't play with sigils at all for a while now. And trash them, and yeah, it's, it's gonna happen at some point.
My eye always halfway down already in weapons. Getting close on the fourth weapon. Some two more after and we'll be okay. After I all this is that up. Oh wow, dude. T tips for Rose is literally fucking... Make sure to, like, fucking pick a good spot for planting roses. <laughs> Just like, yeah, good luck, dude. With the bo bosses moving... Co Constantly, sporadically, like, yeah, it, you can definitely plan and plant. This is something that I would expect someone writing in theory, but then when you just take it and actually play with it, you're like, nah, this shit is fucking scam. <laughs> yeah a lot of them are a lot simpler than the others which is interesting because rosetta is way more complex to only have fucking two i mean even it has three and it's like there's nothing in its kit that's fucking complex except for don't always end your combo in dragon form so you can prolong it and do more damage Carefully cultivate the placement of your garden and reap massive rewards. Next tip. Hold Y to designate where, a plant, uh, where to plant a rose or tap Y when locked onto a foe to plant the rose near them. Remember the mantra for effective rose usage. Location, location, location. So literally both are... Carefully place your roses. Just like, yeah, in theory, that's cool, but... In reality, the bosses are constantly fucking moving, getting knocked. I think, like, getting knocked sh shit is the most annoying, honestly. Like, bosses constantly moving is one thing, but every time you do link attack or you do SBA, the boss gets knocked and moved because of it. Yeah. So it's like, I have to replant every fucking time someone uses link attack or someone uses SBA. So that that shit is a scam. All I'm saying. 
Wait, what are those pictures? Hey, how did you check that shit? Check what? Oh, um, you have to go to trait details. Just like we do for us, so we can look at our levels. You can do the same thing for them. You just can't look at the sigils and what they have rolled on it. But I mean, having a max cool cool down, it wouldn't surprise me if he had all three sub fives with quick cool down on every single one of them. Mm, that would be cool if you could check it after the game. In your recent players, but I don't think you can see the profile. We can see the profile, but it, I don't believe that we could look at, um, like if I go to co op settings and I go to player list and I look at fucking. They're Narmaya. So, profile name. Yeah, I can't. I can only go to page two. And I would only be able to look at it if. They weren't actually in our game. Like, even if I where where the fuck are you at? Yeah, even yeah. if I look at your profile and I fucking look at it, I can't see it. And even if I go into co-op settings, I go to player list or check party members, and I look at you and I look at character details, I can't see them. How how is this fucker only hundred sixty eight accommodations? Probably because they were doing most of their cheating offline. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Like, I look at you, 1500. Me, same thing, like I 1480 or some shit. I don't know how much I have. You got thir well, 1328, okay, but that well. might not be updated. Ah, uh, still fucking one sixty eight, bro. You like fucking yeah. It's me like after like one started, day or two, you know. I feel like they just started playing online with that buddy of their, you know, the duo. And even the dude, even the motherfucker that we just played is they're both of them most played characters. Narmaya. Yeah, the other one has eight hundred, so at least, but. Both of them are Nurmaya mains, which is just funny to me. And both of them played sh different shit. He played Goddamn Lancelot and this bitch played fucking Io. Which I guess like it's a, like a second main because he has already 150 games and 250 on Nurmaya. Yeah. So um, he's getting close to, to actually tying it up. For me, it's not even fucking close. I have 600. Well, actually, dude. I, I, okay, Rakam missions don't count, though. Mm, I don't know, man. Rakam missions don't count, man. You keep this auto farm up, dude, and your number one is going to be fucking Rakam, dude. That that should not fucking, like, dude. I'm doing it offline. Like, that should not count, man. Honestly, nah. dude, it might get to a point where you got to fucking do Narmaya for the auto instead of Rakam. Or something like just do a different find a different mission because it will uh dude i would like to exclude them from my profile please <clears throat> then you gotta you gotta find somebody else because when dude, you play it dude fucking, I, I, uh, I know what i'll do twain releases dude i'm gonna farm with her yeah Account you gotta push pushed. them out of the you have to push them out of the top three yeah so it'll be narmaya fucking twain and then uh Fucking, I don't know. Maybe fairy, for the time being. I think fairy is looks pretty cool. I I'm I'm actually eager to try her. I think I might swap to her right now. It's like, can I even see like from this screen? You can do trade detail, okay? But yeah, you can look at my trade details, but you can't see what I actually have on my sigils. Mm, that's unfortunate. So this motherfucker has 
Three quick cooldowns, a drain, cascade, his dizzy resistance. I'm assuming one of his five pluses is dizzy resistance. That's probably the one he actually legitimately got. No, he didn't get any of this shit legitimately. What am I talking about? Oh, Even if he did yeah, online, yeah. dude, online missions still count, don't they? Yeah. All my missions still count for Kyrio or offline drop. rather, sorry. Offline yeah, missions offline still count. Still count for Kyrio drops. Yeah, I mean, so I know for a fact that nobody I, I I'm pretty sure I Look think at that this you fucker. might be the it's only like four hundred has... missions. His one sixty accommodations, his fucking four hundred missions done. And you're telling me motherfucker has free supplementary five plus? No shot. This motherfucker, look how many this guy has. He has fucking almost 1,000 missions, and he doesn't have even three supplementary fives. Yep. Not a single plus. He didn't even have three fives. And you're telling me this motherfucker in 400 missions has three supplementary five pluses? Yeah, okay, dude. Nice meme. There's no fucking shot. No shot. And I have more than 1,000. I have like 1,100 missions now. Yeah, 1,157. And you're fucking telling me that... Uh... Oh, and yeah, I, it's, and it's I have total. more than... Yeah, and I have more than fucking him, too. And I have three regular sub-fives. Like, I got You have lucky. 805. This guy is 1320. But yeah, this, this motherfucker somehow in 461 missions... Somehow, this motherfucker has three supplementary five pluses. Definitely not cheating, by the way. Definitely not. God, they're so fucking easy to spot. It's crazy. Yep. I think I'll start fucking... Like, every, every time I see someone doing good, I think I'll start checking them. Because I have a feeling, dude, that we're playing with a lot of goddamn cheaters and we don't even realize. I guess maybe that's what... Fucking zero meant by the cheaters on PC because I I bet this shit doesn't happen on console ever. Yeah, it literally can't happen on console. Yeah, so like I I get it in that regard. Granted, I don't really care much. At the end of yeah, the day, because at the end of the day, yeah, it doesn't affect day, me like, really. Yeah, the mission the itself, day, we're gonna beat it anyway. I don't know, man. It's just like, and then it's like, if the honestly, dude, if I'm gonna cheat, me personally, I'm not even gonna get sub five pluses because it's just like it doesn't fucking. The only thing I want, dude, is my unique sigils with fucking damage cap. That's the only thing I put in this bitch right now, so I can stop looking for that in the reroll. Cause that shit feels impossible. I can't get it for any of my characters. The only person I can get it for is fucking. Gonda Gosa, but I'm I not mean, even I'm, cheating. I'm in the same boat, man. I fucking I can't. The only character I have it on is Rakam, and who else? Yeah, like this is the most right stones I've had and I'm gonna keep going but even if I had like the I mean even you you got 200 plus and you've been doing you've probably done more than 2,000 like if you did 10 rerolls so 200 that's 2,000 trans marbles you've gone through and still can't get the shit you got one by the grace of God I can't get any of them that's literally the only thing I would put in this bitch is I would just give myself my unique Fucking sigils with damage cap. Yeah, I have Cagliostro. Both. I have two Cagliostro, so Cagliostro is done. And I have two Rakam, so Rakam is done. And then I have a couple singles. I have... I have one for Catalina. I have one for Ayo. 
I have one for Normaya. And then I have one for uh, Zeta. It's like I, I have a couple of ones and I have two characters with twos. Being Rakam and, and Cagliostro. But I don't really care for either, honestly. Like, Cagliostro might be interesting, so we'll see, maybe. But yeah, I don't even I don't have fairy ones, for example. That would be kind of cool to have. Alright, it's time to play some fucking fairy. I say that, but what the fuck are we even farming, dude? Uh, because um, uh, I already have all the mats for the next awakened weapon. So for um, me, it's either silvers or weapon experience. I think. I mean, I'm good for silvers. I'm also good for weapon XP. Um, it's what you want to do at the end of the day, because um, I need both, obviously. What are you even working on right now? Um, right now, the only thing I would really be working on is getting the rest of this exceptional Raffinium to max out Lancelot's weapon, and then uh, I would need to start working on Yugen's weapon. And leveling up all the Yugen shit, and then Io's weapon, and leveling up all the Io's shit. Hmm. Other than Raffinium? Because so, I feel like farming Raffinium feels like a waste if the AFK farm is just better. It's so much yeah. faster than anything else. And obviously there's no point in us farming it together when both of us can do AFK shit. Yeah, no, that's why, like, I'm not even tripping. Like, I, if I mean, if there was a mission that <laughs> we were farming for silvers that also dropped coins, I would be good. I mean, I would also be fine if I could sell shit in my inventory for coins, but you can't. I don't know why that's not a thing. I could do six levels of Aya weapon. I need four more levels worth of silvers, which is what, uh, 15, 25? So I need 25 silvers and I need more exceptional Raffinium, but Raffinium I'll just farm myself uh, offline later. But it's like, to me, for me it's just silvers and, you know. Oh, I, I, I guess technically we could just fucking... Uh, could farm the eye maybe like we did yesterday. Brandon, I know I can do it solo too. It's up to you, oh. dude. How many beakers do you have? I don't. Uh, I'm not for a fact. I don't have that many beaks. Um... Oh, I can make some beaks though, with Griffin talents. Nice. I have 55 beaks. Okay, I have 52. I guess we can do like a couple of them. Couple of eyes. Like 60. 
5 times 12, yeah. So we get like 60 and then we just do griffins, I guess. Yeah, there's just not much we can... There's not much I can even farm, honestly. I can't believe I'm gonna say it, but it kind of sucks that there's nothing, like, harder to farm. Yeah, man. Uh, because like the, the fucking like what is the point of me farming uh actually no i'll probably do offline party actually what is the point of farming like anything um i'm like proud like mine is the the needed shit right so like obviously the shadow bosses and the mechanical boss when you need the mats for the weapon yeah but like Usually you're done in just like two kills. And then yeah, you farm I mean, for like an hour or two for weapon XP and for fucking uh, Refinium and the uh, Silvers. Because mats themselves are done in like two clears, literally. Maybe mechanical boss takes a little longer. But... Yeah, because it doesn't drop for me, but my th whole thing is, is it's like, once I get all my characters built, dude, I'm literally probably just going to get on this bitch and do quick quests, just slime farm and quick quests. But I don't like quick quests because I hate getting nerfed. Yeah. Because even when you're game. level, when, even when you're level 100, you get, you still get nerfed. Like, because it's not going to reflect your true stats, and I'm just like, why even bother, dude? Yeah, that, that annoys me as well. So, yeah, but I mean, I'll probably do the quick, because, I, you know, my whole thing was I was going to get quick quest grind badges so I can get those Azerites, but if I do a slime farm overnight, there goes all the Azerites that I would ever need. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck badges will be for, because... Yeah, I don't think there's anything worth actually farming for, with badges, like, at all. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you would farm for is if you weren't using Azerites, and you still had to build every weapon up manually, or build every sigil up manually, and build every weapon up without fucking Damascus manually, but... Now that we know that that slime exists, and you know if you leave it on overnight, you'll get at least like two, maybe even three. Like, it's just, it's literally better to just fucking do that. And you made, that's what I was saying earlier, you, you're you probably the only person, I, I swear to God, I think you're the only person who has like a script for the slime farm. Uh, there probably are more people. It's just like, I don't know if they would like, you know, well, We know advertise. for a fact there's nobody on PlayStation 5 that's doing that shit. So that already rules that entire side of the player base out. And I feel like, if anything, why would they make a script for it when people could just fucking cheat? Which clearly a lot of people are doing, as we've already seen. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather like... Granted, scripting is also cheating, like... Yeah, technically it is. You gotta be fair. But... It's just making something play the game for you. You're still playing the game legitly. In the sense that, like, you're not using modded sigils or anything. You're importing sigils or anything like that. Like, to me, uh, It's just a boring fucking... Kill... 200 slimes and my afk shit is less efficient than doing it online too because online i can we can kill like 220 slimes usually and offline i'm killing 160 it's like you know you lose 60 kills and honestly dude after just one night of it running i'm 
Honestly, I, I probably could just never run that script ever again, and I would be fine. Yeah. Well, like, I could auto, like, is... griffins and shit, but, like, I... I tried doing it, and I gave up. Like, I'm gonna farm griffins myself, so... It's pretty much just gonna be only slimes. I think the other shit is just too annoying to set up. I could potentially do the eye. But even if I do the eye, like, you still need to do the griffins too. Like, I would have to physically farm griffins to match the eyes dropped, so... Yeah. And silvers don't drop that often from Maniac Sages anyway. It's like, I don't think... I don't know. I don't feel like I would have that many, even if I run it whole night. But then again, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe it would be decent, man. You can get 40 overnight, that's one awakening. Well, 41. It's one awakening weapon, so... Well, one, one terminus weapon, max awakened. Two worth of silvers. What the fuck is a water orb? Alright, let me clear out. So what are we doing? We're doing eyes or we're doing griffins? Uh... A few eyes and then griffins. Alright. All right, I'm at 102 trance marvels. Let's go. At least do a at least a minimum 100 per reroll. What am I forgetting about? Tyranny.
All right, I can do this shit. When uh, doing this is just me since I got a lot of shit that I can fucking blow through. Oh my god. Wait, what do I want to put here? Right. Uh, where are you? Maybe we'll just at least what? It's fucking the 18th. I don't know, dude. Fucking next week will be the first, man. And when is that stream supposed to be? Is it this week or first? next week? It'll be the first of March next week, brother. So we're at least we're close to the raid to give us something. Uh, what? We have an 18th today. Yeah. So, so this week in a week, it's it'll, Friday 25th. will be the 23rd. No, I'm I'm saying like at the end of this week, it'll be the 21st, 23rd, and then the end of next week. It'll be the first. Like this week's going to blaze through because we're going to be playing this game. And then next week we'll blaze through. And I think the stream is either next week or this week. I don't remember. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Uh... Yeah. So we're, we're close to March at the very least. Yeah, hard to say when and like if. Like they just... If they're even going to talk about anything related to this game. Like, fuckers didn't want to respond to me. On Discord. I don't think I got any message. You can try asking yourself at some point, but I fucking... I didn't get the... I didn't get the answer. When and if we're getting a stream. So honestly, no idea if we even are getting anything at all. Well, luckily for me, you know me, I'm fucking on social media a bit. So I have twi uh, tweet notifications from them. So every time they tweet something, I get that shit on my phone the, the, the second they tweet it. So I just keep a lookout, dude. I'm literally, they'll be starving for fucking Twitter posts from them but right now they're you know it's promo time right now they're trying to fucking promote the game and give all the beginner shit introduce characters i just need them to start talking about shit yeah I mean, it's still early on so i get it yeah. it just doesn't feel like early on because we played so much of this game like... yeah i mean you're already at 200 hours i'll be at 200 hours by the end of the day or by the time i get off maybe I'm a like, 240 it, baby. Two fucking 40. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're cooked. It's, it's been it's been a lot. Let's just say that. It's been a fucking lot. Uh, I don't have more cascades. That sucks. I want to use quick cooldowns. I guess I'll use Nimble Onslaught then. Being 
what turn I do have train or we could max out cooldowns I guess Is there any other character looking that I would try? I mean, uh, I'm definitely going to make is a there... vein build. I don't know. I'm looking through the fucking masteries right now. I'm definitely going to make a vein build because he was the character that I was most interested in that launch I literally over everybody else. So I just, I'm going to, you know, stay true to that sentiment and make a vein build. Um, I wish that his terminus weapon wasn't a fucking hammer. I wish it was just a cooler axe, but I digress. It's not that big of a deal. Sounds like it is, dude. <laughs> oh, uh, if they drop the Eternal with the Battle Axe, dude, I'll, I'll be okay. I mean, but the, that's a big the Booba if. Girl. Yeah. Pretty likely we're, we're gonna get her, so... Rejoice. I will rejoice, my brother. I need some more war elementals. I need less of them and more of supplement supplementary damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's way quicker. <laughs> Let's -a go. All right. Just get rid of my water orbs real quick. I do agree though, it would be nice if she didn't have this fucking bottle. Oh, you can, um... I saw that a... mod. I saw that oh, mod okay. that removes it. I wonder if you... I wonder if it would remove it for me too. Like, if I looked at you, would you not have it? Or if it's just nah. you? Usually those mods only look on... Cl uh, work, rather, on client side. So if you were using fairy and I had the mod on, your fairy wouldn't have it. Like, on my screen at least. Wait, which one was the fucking... this one? It was this one. 
I just have to get used to her fucking shit. Buttons I'm even pressing. Grinding this, I'll get my fucking coin so I can. Oh, my dumb ass. My bad. What are you saying? That what? I was saying that grinding this, I'll be able to get the coins that I need. Yeah, I'll main. I think all bosses really give uh, like 15 coins or some shit. Obviously, assault formation better. It like, on average, was dropping like 120, 110 coins for me per stage. Alright, I just wanted to see if I had enough fucking stun to do it. Oh, I fucking missed it. I think. I just wonder though, how is Fairy. <laughs> is Fairy a waifu while being a ghost? Uh, there, you can be a, a ghost waifu, dude. But like, how Where how is she be? a ghost but yet still lives? Like, I'm fucking. It's just anime things? Uh Nah, it's some lore behind it. You probably have to look on the website. See, like, how much damage it does? Like, stun damage? Yeah. I guess I still do good damage then. I'm getting the MVPs. Yeah, like if I had Stout Heart, I can fucking put my buff on without worrying about getting hit. Oh, 
Yeah, because I don't buff any of you. I only use potions, so all of my MVP is literally just me doing damage. You're doing damage in the, the fucking attack down and defense debuff. Oh, true. I am debuffing too. Rakam smoked me. Hmm. I like how I said unscathed, but he was literally at 1 HP by the end of the fucking fight. Oh, because he didn't get fucking hit by the boss, he got hit by his own ability. Yeah. Which is That's funny that so it doesn't funny. count as taking damage. Oh, what happened? Yeah, I Something definitely... Something picked them back up. Yeah, I shouldn't use Link Attack. But it just confirms the theory that, like, yeah, it just fucking... It fucks it. So as long as, like, one person doesn't use Link Attack... It doesn't get up immediately. It's kind of interesting. Not gonna happen again. I wasn't sure if that was like a Rakam thing, but no, it's not a Rakam thing. Yeah, it's like, I think only if three people do it, it'll leave them on the ground. Ooh, very close. They're like 100,000 more. That actually does hit. I guess I can do that. Either of the bots didn't use their damage, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Rackham didn't get the, the skill off. Until the end, and I already killed him. When we do a Griffins, you think I should try Fairy or probably just swap to Rakam? Um, if you want to do it... If, I mean, we both do damage, so we could easily do it. It's just... I did plenty of Griffin runs last night where there was literally no fucking range. So, it, we would just be leaving it up to chance. Rakam dashing in. Oh, it's a Mikey. 
What is even this bottle? It's like a fucking spirit bottle? Um, the bottle, I think so. Okay, so it said... It said the spirit of an Erune girl residing in a mansion near the town of Kerpesculo and the misshrouded isle. After a plague befell herself, her family, and all residents of the island, she made a last wish to see them once again before her demise. That's when the primal beast Celeste appeared, turning all residents who died of the disease into undead beings. Since then, Fairy is waiting for her little sister to return to the island. Um, before the arrival of the plague, her sister left the island to search for a cure for the rare disease. Hmm. Um, there's more, but I can't read fucking Japanese, dude. And even though they say English, they don't. They didn't translate it on the fucking website. So that this would be a good test, I guess, for you <laughs> to read, make sure your fucking you know skills are still there. Yeah, nice meme, dude. Reading some fucking game awards to <laughs> figure out like you know if you some mechanics or, or shit. Like that's one thing. Reading lore in Japanese, yeah, fucking no shot, dude. <laughs> good one. You almost fucking had me. Oh, Especially yeah, if I guess the sister country. didn't make it, dude. Because if you look at Fairy Grand, it says time has stayed frozen for this Arune for far too long. But she is finally ready to move on. Having learned and come to terms with the fate of her beloved little sister, Fairy's solemn grief turns to hopeful prayer as she takes a step forward, confident that she will eventually reunite with her family at Journey's End. Damn, so her sister got cooked. That is unfortunate. It would be nice if in the future we got like the grand versions of these characters as like new characters, like new versions of said character. Cause I mean, that shit just looks cool. I guess it was just a fucking primal then that keeps her alive. Yeah. But it doesn't, it didn't sound like she has a primal inside of her, it's just like. Yeah, that does look cool. Hmm. Oh, no, cool character. I assume that since the dragons are playable in the mobile game, then surely if they wanted to, they would make them playable characters in this game.
think it will happen. Dragon waifus. Am I getting fucking advertisement of this shit when I'm listening to my fucking mates, dude? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know who the fuck I'm gonna take into the raid, man. <laughs> I know who I'm taking. <laughs> Pretty simple like, choice, like, too. I guess it really doesn't fucking matter who I take into it, because we're gonna fucking crush it anyway. I hope it's hard, dude. What can I say, man? As always, man, I just choose waifus correctly. <laughs> it's actually crazy how many times how many games I just choose a character that's good yeah, and I'm over here in a character crisis in every single one of them you would think that I just fucking miss half of the time but like it literally doesn't feel like that I for sure missed on some like for sure it had to happen but the amount of times I actually do nail it is Pretty disgusting, man. Like, I definitely cooked on Kuching in, in Genshin. That one, uh, yeah, well, it, it is what it is. But I liked Fischl a lot, and I think Fischl was definitely strong. People are super underestimated her. And then she became, like, a good support. Like, I looked at, like, team compositions. She would appear very often, actually. Yeah. I That's mean, a if support. I was smart, dude, I would have fucking just bought a, an account with D-Luke on it, like a starter account with D-Luke on it, and then just fucking like re-roll, or fucking just like spent money on that, because the fact that I did all of that, all that money, remember, I still never had a D-Luke, dude. If I was smart about it, I wouldn't even pay a cent on that game. Yeah. Because I mean, at the yeah, end of the we day... Smart about it, we wouldn't even play the fucking game. It wasn't that good of a game, so, like, literally could have gotten similar amount of enjoyment just playing free-to-play, like I do with Star Rail now. And all this money, dude, could have been saved. Yeah. Could be sitting on fucking, I don't know, like 7, 8k right now.
Percival does a fuck ton of damage, though. I'll give him that, man. But just thinking about, like, what I got to do to optimally play him, bro, like, the fuck ever. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm interested in CF fun, dude. I just wonder, like, I like, uh, I don't, I won't even say. I'm, I'm just afraid for you, dude. <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, dude, even if I don't, if I somehow, by the grace of Satan, don't like him, it's not like we're going to, I'm not going to play the game with you. You're just going to have to hear me bitch on stream about how I'm in a character crisis while we grind mindlessly for hours. It will be sad, dude. I wish you just have a character like, like I it's, have it sucks, I like. It, it sucks. I like Siegfried the most, I think. But he does, uh, <laughs> like, dude... <laughs> One move from fucking Percival does his whole fucking damage from his perfect execution. <laughs> like, why the fuck would it? doesn't matter how much fun I'm having, dude. Fucking, that damage is piss poor. That's why, like, I was arguing with people in the face. It's like, dude, he, you don't get rewarded for perfect execution. Why does he hit damage cap entirely too fucking fast? That's why I'm able to run so much fucking defensive shit on him. He hit cap so fucking fast to the point like I'm doing a hundred like two hundred and three thousand per fucking normal attack hit, which granted, okay, that's that sounds nice in theory, because you know, I'm doing like hundred and nineteen K with fucking Percy plus like whatever the sup is. But like even like let's just say that, you know, my my regular attack plus sup, I'm doing like hundred and fifty K. That's 50k less than fucking Siegfried. I don't have to perfectly execute it. And I get a charge attack at the end of it that does like 570 fucking thousand damage plus the sub damage. And then I can cancel all of my skills to get like, you know, a charge off. And I, he has a supplementary damage fucking self buff. There, there, there's literally like the gameplay loop is the only thing that would make you pick Siegfried over Percival. Percival is literally just a better option. More damage. Yeah, you know, I didn't. I, even when I wasn't doing this fucking charge canceling shit, I was still doing decent damage with him, right? Like, I was just getting less charge attacks out. I was still having fun. His skills are fucking cooler. Like,. It's just why and then it's like i like fucking lancelot but you know there's nothing for me to do with lancelot except for that fucking spam auto attack like even if i like his skills even if i have max skill cooldown and you know like spamming skills for one we know is not even possible in this fucking game based off the way it works but even if it was it's like even if i was spamming skills and had a whole bunch of skill damage and skill damage cap up and shit like that I still wouldn't be more damage doing more damage than the motherfucker who's just spamming the fucking auto attack. Like I swear to God, my Xbox controller, the one that I've had for so long <laughs> since I've started playing this game, is fucking is shitting the bed. Dude. My A button doesn't work as good as it used to. My B button doesn't work as good as it used to. My Xbox. I wonder why. <laughs> Tell me you're a, you're a fucking uh, person who plays fighting games without telling me you're a person who plays fighting games. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not wrong though, dude. I'm not wrong. No, you're not. I'm just like between fighting games and fucking Lancelot. <laughs> and dude, my controller and is Lancelot me. fucking gameplay. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh man. How can I tell you that Lancelot is a pussy? Yeah, I mean, I, I, what I need to do is probably just need to take this controller apart and clean it and clean some of the buttons because there's probably like <laughs> just remove them, them, dude. Yeah, I guess so, dude. I mean, granted, I got I got like a whole I got a few controllers, backup controllers and shit, but I'm just like brother. Oh, fucking brother. 
I can't relate to your pains because I'm on, on, on like two day controller now. So it doesn't really get Battle much fresher than yeah. that. Yeah, we didn't get oh. shit for real. The fuck was that about? I don't know if I got that many silvers, honestly. Did I get enough to even level up, up once? Nope. I think I got three silvers overall. Yeah, I got 17 exceptional Rafinium now, and now I just bought some more, now I got 25. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's finish this shithead's weapon, and finally. Damascus knife the unseen. And now I can start working on fucking Yugen, dude. Three more levels on Io. I feel like, dude, every day I'm doing one character. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of characters soon. <laughs> yeah. Not like That's this, I man. Hope. I hope the raid brings something interesting, man. I swear. Got a trophy, Supreme Unseen. Probably killed like fucking million eyes. We have one, two, three. We have three characters left for Mirage. And I'm done with Mirage Mission. Bro, I just like. It will be interesting, man. I'll literally run out of things to do in this game. Like, it actually is possible to run out of things to do. Yeah. This shit will actually fucking happen soon. Actually, do you want to do open or do you want to do closed? For we can Griffins? try open. We can try open. So now that I think about it, I could probably play fucking fairy on closed because we would have a uh, big dick damage Normaya and we would have a uh, ranch to come. Fuck but... it, let's do a run and try it. See what happens. Job. Motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking prevented my salvation. <laughs> 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 I wanted to salvate. I did. I think it changed my ordering though. Or maybe uh, it probably didn't. Just different for mission. Wait, does Rakam even like fucking do anything? Or... Actually, maybe I can fucking hit them. This whip, this whip has pretty good range, so it does have good range. That's for sure. 
I whip those fuckers pretty hard. I mean, I should kill Griffins faster too now that I'm using the fucking. Now that I'm using the fucking charge cancel shit. I have stun damage for the first one, and I have slow for the second one, so... Maxed out on fucking wind orbs, man. There you go, slow. No, but like our offline looks pretty good, though. No? Yeah, better than a fucking regular party. I guess investing into those fucking characters of mine was, uh,. Be good. Actually, getting really fucking comfy in here. Once I'll have a, like actual fucking roster to choose from, not just be locked into specific characters, it will feel even better. Especially when I try doing it solo. I, I would imagine probably Io would be pretty good here on AI. Uh, Rakan for sure, so that's two. I don't know about third one. From the shit I build. Uh... I plan on making my offline party Yugen, Rakan, um, Io, and then whatever biggest DPS I have. Rose probably not good here. So skip on Rose. Normaya is good damage, but she's only melee. Yeah, and she doesn't probably. And do she does her a shit. fuck ton of damage, so I'll. Mr. Rakam, though. Bro, what is Rakam doing? My brother in Christ, what is he doing, man? He's shooting the bed, dude. <laughs> He's using his coffin ability in the fucking air, dude. Not hitting anything. What other characters I wanted to build? Kagliostro? Hey, Kagliostro actually maybe could, could be good here. She does good stun damage. Has range. I could run Kagli, Kagli, Rakam, Perry, and Io. And I would be pretty fucking killer party for this. It missed. Okay. 
Bro, this didn't even fly all the way. Whatever, I guess. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to ever be reliant on on online fuckers for this mission then. We can just comfortably do it offline. The beginning is fucking annoying though. Maybe I do have to pilot Rakam. It's just like... I really don't want to though. <laughs> he used the fucking big explosion on one goddamn bird. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck is going on with this camera? It's just like spazzing out. Yeah, I need to disable it. I'm sure. I enabled it for auto run. But... Ah. Uh, can probably wait a little longer on that one. I fucked up so much there. Where's my Lilith character, man? Where is she? Playable Lilith? I hope they don't fuck up, like, and not put Maggie and Kalanza in the game, dude. I definitely think they should be in the game. They're just, like, that would be a waste of, like, not putting the, f like, those are two free characters. 
you don't even have to do much, dude. Just change some of their moves just a little bit to fit into the scope of how other people have certain shit. Boy, the bots literally do nothing, man. Yeah, the Ryan beginning is Rackham annoying. We're just looking. I don't know what happened to that fucking guy. He usually flies low enough where we can hit him. I'm liking Fairy though. I, I think she actually has a lot of cool things in her kit. I think this will be my second main. Yeah, I remember. You know, you kind of had the same sentiment earlier when we were still grinding Terminus because you saw how much Fairy brought to the table. Yeah, even after I discovered that the fucking defense debuff doesn't mean shit. Like, still. Still feels really fucking good. I forgot to buff myself for the first one. Like her burst window is fucking nice. I start with my one of my abilities that gives me all the pets and it does high stun damage so it's a perfect opener into self buff since I have all pets I'm getting all of the buffs of invincibility and fucking supplementary and then because I still have all the pets I can do my fucking whip like hold that gets rid of all the pets and then I use another skill that fucking does a lot of damage, summons all the pets again, and then I gonna go back to the f to the fucking AOE, get rid of pets, and I still have slow in my arsenal to throw in in between there somewhere if I need the boss to stay longer in one place. I don't know the the skills just and her auto attacks and stuff just fucking they connect for very well. I'll have to look if I can replace some skill for something else, but I feel like I have the perfect setup right now. It feels really good together. Like the only shit that looked pr pretty cool was like the other buff, which gave like a defense, healed, gave HP regen. For everyone in, in the team, like that one seemed really cool too, but I don't think I would replace anything for it. And her range is surprisingly long too. She actually reaches pretty fucking well. Oh, one of your pets is just stuck in the floor back here. Leave my pets alone. She even has a mechanic where like she does a bit more damage if you hit enemies with the tip of her whip. Hmm. 
I'm familiar with that. Like, yeah, which is kind of interesting. Fighting game. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely saw that mechanic before. I don't remember where, but yeah, yeah for so me in Smash, to... it's called tippers. Where you hit somebody with the tip of a weapon and you do more damage, like tip of a sword, tip of whatever fucking weapon they use. Game I played that had a whip user. Maybe Dark Souls actually. Now that I think about it, I think Dark Souls is working the same way. Oh. Yeah, that was my fault. I, I didn't do my link attack. I messed up again. I just forget to fucking buff myself. I'm just like messing up part time. I miss my slow. Maybe I need to lock in. Maybe with a lock in I can throw that shit better. So ideally I would like it to be thrown at the enemy, not like below the enemy. <laughs> Boy, that's actually fucking hilarious. When the enemies try to fucking dive me, they can't even hit me because my AoE shit attacked so many times and so quick that once they get into the range, they get killed. Before they can even <laughs> hit me. It's like fucking Neji's rotation, dude. They're just fucking... Dude, I, I should be using this shit on garbage enemies. It's literally like I have an aura around me that just kills anything that gets inside. Look at him, fucking Ikuza, his flames. I'm, I'm really interested in, in the characters they're gonna put in this game, dude. Same. I would love to just like know the schedule for like a year. You know, like the roadmaps they usually yeah. give for like gacha games for a year. I would love to see something like that, man. Your shit actually is pretty good, like, you can just fucking snipe like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get slowed, motherfucker. Dude, we're killing them without even Rakam using his fucking fireball of doom. Yeah, so that just means the damage is outstanding. Nah, I'm liking her. I'm liking her a lot. I just need to figure out, like, what her DPS really is. It just bothers me, man. In the back of my mind, I'm always thinking about it. What is the DPS? Because it feels good, but... Am I doing good damage? But finally, having a character with CC on my end is nice. So far, every character I touch, no CC. Next one is Io, which also has a C uh, has CC. I'm very curious with Io. I think she could be fun. It's just a different playstyle. It will be all about charge attacks and. Like charge spells and all of that. I'm gonna just let them all come to you. I don't know how that motherfucker made it through. Yeah, he, he did the fucking ground dive, I guess. I guess that maybe might be faster. Some invincibility. Or, yeah. Or, either or. Probably what it was. The rest fuckers though get smoke immediately. It's like it doesn't this shit doesn't cost me anything either. It's like this is just my attack. And it hits so fucking fast. Dude. Like 32 or 40k per hit, it's about like Normaya's auto attacks. Well, okay, not not as much, but it's, it's way faster than Normaya attacks. After this, though, I'll have to go bathroom. Alright. You want me to just let you go after the kill and you make it back in time, or just stop? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I see him charging, dude. You pussy. I don't think so, you motherfucker. This is why I need stout heart, man. He does like this fucking one, like slight. He like slightly goes up in the air for a, for like a second. And that, this one, Why? right there. Why are you up there? <laughs> it's so annoying, dude. Jesus Christ. Alright, man, go to the bathroom. Go, go back.
all good <laughs> you just standing there and waiting uh, i mean out there so high dude i literally can't fucking reach him <laughs> That's actually hilarious, dude. And my bots didn't move because they're stuck with me. Yep. <laughs> Just looking at those fuckers menacingly. That's all you could do. <laughs> oh man. Should have used your fucking stun skill, dude. This is like oh, I tried. Pillar of Flame. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> yeah, you know, he was literally right above it, dude. Nice, I miss. Nice, nice. Dude, that is so feels bad, man. And that's the first time we fucked. Yeah, because he literally stayed up in the air, so none of my shit hit him. I guess I'll wait to use my stun skill on the other motherfucker, or on this one, since you do stun on the first one. No, dude. <laughs> Half of the time I don't even hit it. And even if I do, I'm not. I don't know, maybe we do have enough damage. Like stun it or link it. Maybe. I well, we could try. <laughs> さあ、調教 
I'm getting fisted every time. <laughs> I swear, dude. The motherfucker is constantly getting fucking roasted by those fuckers. It's the only shit I fucking hear the scream rock comes on. Like, what are you fucking doing, dude? <laughs> What do you mean, dude? The bird is just, you know, doing bird things. That shit is so fucking goofy, man. That was you saving the stun for the second one? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess that should work, honestly. As long as I don't miss mine. Another silver, let's go, baby. No fuckers. This is a no-flight zone. Dude, this Vern is actually fucking... Just shut the fuck up, man. I wanted to do that fucking mod that changes Vern to the little vampire chick, but the hands don't look good, honestly. That's the only reason why I wouldn't do it, just because the voice actor in this game is the same as a little vampire girl. Uh, I know what. Up the hands. I know the penalty mod you could install. A mod that turns Vern into Paimon. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Did you see the, the one that turned, uh, I forgot who it was, but it turned somebody into Silver Wolf? And it changed the profile art and everything, too. In Relink? Yeah. I'll send it to you after this. Granted, I really wouldn't want fucking, I wouldn't even really want Honkai characters on this shit. It was too short. That's what she said. Alright, I don't have my stun skill for next though.
Goodbye. Is that the last one? Yes, okay. Yeah, not bad. I got 715 crystals. But I have 400 something before we started. So I got about like 300 ish. Yeah, I think I got about like 380. Or maybe it was 300. Maybe I had 80 to start. Do I have enough to max out the weapons now? No, I fucking... I needed three weapons, not two. Oh, how cringe is that, bro? Damn it. As I'm slightly short. Okay, so I'm all out of crystals, but every weapon for Yugen is 150, except for his first one, it's 142. So I'm literally almost to the point where I can build my fucking Yugen, dude. Uh, I have 13 levels left for Io. Then first I gotta do the same shit for Io, too. Oh, sad, sad times. And then I gotta do the same shit for Rackham, but and fucking Catalina, but I'm I'm not worried about that shit right now. Once I get my fucking uh what's the name party in order, then I can just use Damascus ingots on fucking all this shit. So I don't have to worry about farming the weapon fucking mats. Good enough. I, it just... Man, I just need like... Ah, fuck it. I'll just get it from farming overnight. It's fine. So I'll have IO finished. Let's see if I can... Uh, be able to exchange at least a little bit. Ooh. Uh. Doesn't move the needle actually, like at all. So that's all we're getting for now, I guess. That sucks. Okay, well, I'll finish this weapon tomorrow then. Just need like what, 13 silvers? And a little bit more Rufinium, but Rufinium I'll get. I'm not worried about that. I guess it's time to open Curios to end the day. I don't have that many, but I'll still open them with you. Let me just finish these fucking level 3 transmutations. Thirty-eight.
Fast travel, Zeth's bros appraisal. You got a curio that I can grab real quick? Nope, oh, that's the Raphael coin. The Rafale coin. The only gacha game that I'm looking forward to coming out is uh, it's called Knights of Vita or Knights of Veta. I don't know if you know anything about that one, but it's like a side-scrolling nope. kind of 2D game. And uh, I don't that's know, I had fun when Another I got the beta. Yeah, but that's literally it. I would literally just like play that shit by myself. And it's on Steam too, so I can fucking uh, play that shit on my Steam deck. The only shit on my radar is Wolverine Waves and uh, Arc Knights Enfield. Alright, I got 32. You got what, 37? 8. 38. Alright, well, let me know when you're ready, man. 3, 2, 1, go. Come on, War Elemental, give me two or three, baby. Subs, please, subs. Head start. I also got head start. Dodge payback, dodge payback, and that's it. Nothing. Damage cap four plus. Fucking, I got stronghold. I got untouchable. I got fucking heads to wow. That is, that is some shit, man. Nothing. Fucking nothing. I know which those were re rollable, man. Pain. Pain indeed. Oh well, it is what it is. It is right. what it is. Alrighty, stream. Done so for today. Tomorrow we farm more. I'll finish the IO weapon. Well, I'll just finish IO overall. Um, and after that, I guess we'll be working on. Oh yeah, I'll have to level up MC weapon because I'll need it for the story. And after that, after that, I don't know. I guess we'll be leveling Zeta next. So we'll finish IO and we'll start on Zeta tomorrow. And after that. Actually, we'll see. Maybe somewhere in there I'll also <clears throat> push some ultimate main story. I think we did like two or three chapters today. So it, it goes quickly when you skip all the cutscenes and all the dialogue. It was, it was a good farm, man. Able to knock out those weapons, so I'll probably do like a few Griffin missions to finish Yugen and then work on Yugen and maybe get him to a point where I could fucking do well. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do the fucking uh, auto. What's the name? While I chill. Fucking uh, the assault mission. Three chapters today. Chapter two, three, and four. It, yeah, it will go quick, it will go quick, I'm not worried. But, alright chat, I'll see you all tomorrow.